Gave him a huge parade. Walked around the city and trapped him with a lady. Got them both so pretty. Separated from his friends and the way things were back then. He was feeling so alone, just wish he could go home. In a small town, it's easy to be big. If you're gonna get out, you gotta fly out the way I'm the reluctant king. Can we have high? Only one he was a peer. He was just another guy, the reluctant king up in the sky. He never asked for this. Now he's got no way to hide the reluctant king. Hell, we have high. All he wanted was to be. He was just another guy, the reluctant king. Up in the sky. He never asked for this. Now he's got no way to hide from no one. Up. Uh, hi guys, hey, welcome to another episode of Forever. Thanks for bringing that up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? Over a year ago. Uh, Jason yeah. threw up once. Jason threw up. How I embarrassing. haven't thrown up since. Yeah. That was like 14 months ago. I haven't thrown up since. I know. That was the first time you threw up. Huh? No. Ever? Yeah, no. that's the first time I threw up ever. No, of course There's not. no way. No. Hey, he you was 21. It's the first industry. time I threw up on stream. <laughs> no. I ran right off the camera and threw up into a trash can right over there. Well, I see, I wasn't going to make you get into the details of it. But but I, sure. Wait, really? Like, none of us knew. I couldn't knew, make it to the bathroom. None of us knew until yeah. after this Lucas stream. knew. <laughs> what was great is, like, that was, yeah, that was my first... Uh, time on the show. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, they're gonna think I'm a drug addict. That's like throwing up in between. You know. Or that he just or had a very really hard like, night. Yeah, body conscious in the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> first, uh, first yeah. episode of Hard Night. That's what it was. Um, so that was the Reluctant King, if we all remember. The I believe that was the Reluctant yeah. King. Yeah. 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 Back in yeah. the 7th Sea Adventures. We have uh, one empty chair because a Damien will be joining us briefly. So, Damien Pointian. Pointian. Uh, he will not. It is not that we are just having a memorial seat for Aww. him. <laughs> it is that he is actually going to be joining us when we're flying in. So. Yep. Aha. He's a busy dude. Other than that, we're six players deep in again. Hello and welcome everybody yeah. to the middle of the end. So, Middle of the you end. You have a lot to be getting through. You have a lot of worlds to get through. So I, I kind of say, well, let's just get into it. Yeah. yeah. We're in Pugmire. Let's do it. Yeah, so when we last left our adventures, they had just discovered the secret to getting out of the simulation was actually encompassed in Friend, who, as they have been uh, either consciously or subconsciously noticing, has been Jimmy as they've been running around from adventure to adventure, from world to world, and they have to go get all the jimmies. All the jimmies have to be gotten. What? Gotta catch them all. And you don't mean sprinkles. You're not, no. Jimmy Sprinkles, what's that from? Huh? That's a, the, people call sprinkles jimmies. Yeah. I'm Who's, with you. That people. might just be a Jersey thing, though. Are you? Who's people? I'm from the East Coast. Yeah, so it might just be a Jersey thing. Coast How is there a word for sprinkles that I don't know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Jimmy's. East Coast thing. Big time. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely an East Coast thing. Really? Yeah. This is very Jimmy's important. You say add some, add some Jimmy's on, on that? No, yeah. never heard what? of it. What? That sounds like she's just, you're just yeah. messing with us. I'm so not messing with you. My ice cream sundae's going to sleep with the fishes. That's what it sounds like. Throw some Jimmy's on your head. It's so Jersey. It's great. Throw some Jimmy's on the ice cream. What does that even mean? Yeah. Hey, you know what? After this conversation, you're either going to be working for me or you're going to be having some jimmies on your ice cream. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. So. It, yeah, no, it does sound like, like a swim it, with it's, the fish. It's a kind of threat. Yeah. Exactly. So I, did, I lived it's in Jersey threat. when They're I was delicious. in third grade, so that's probably where I got yeah. it. In fact, on my college campus, Jersey. there was like a huge fight in the cafeteria over like Jimmy's people versus Sprinkles people. See, it's a threat. I told you. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, some people die after that fight. Yeah. So. You can't mm-hmm. say, I like Jimmy's on my ice cream without being like a tough guy from the East Coast. Like, hey, I like Jimmy's on my ice cream. Whereas out here, we're like, I like sprinkles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, What's that? They come in rainbow colors. Oh, we even yeah. name our cupcakes and after chocolates. Mm-hmm. Out here, we're all like, is that non-dairy coconut milk? Nougat, vegan, vegan, vegan. Yeah. 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 were made with grasshopper legs way early on in the process. But the gl- grasshoppers were not harmed in any way. Oh. Is, is there Except for when spinner. they died. Hey! <laughs> Good for them. Uh, so you've got a lot of worlds to get through. You've got a lot of Jimmys to find. Yeah. And uh, at this point, we've learned we'll that... My oh. Jimmy's have been rustled, you guys. I know, I've never hit it the same way. Ever yeah, it's going to be there. Now yeah. we're going to gonna have a three-hour discussion about in. Jimmy's versus Sprinkles. I was going to say, at this point, like every every <laughs> every, every minute, minute you eat up is one minute closer to oh, purgatory no. as far Wait, as I'm concerned. we don't have a lot of time. No. <laughs> oh. now, she's get, now she's serious about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, you don't have a lot of time. And so... I even likes to kill people. Uh, well, I don't want to say I like it. I just say that I allow it. <laughs> to happen. No. So it was probably be way more accurate. Okay, so uh, we're in Pugmire now. Well, you are in the city, outside the city limits of Pugmire, and currently, Anthony. Um. Oh. Uh, uh, soup bone. Yeah. And uh, Ignatius. Ignatius Terrier. Terrier tin are all there uh, at this stage because you were the three that essentially popped into an existence in the midst of the original bridge that you first watched Antony or Santiago uh, kick the bucket at when Miaugul took him and uh, essentially started this whole thing off. But the world of Pugmire looks different than when you last left. Hmm. In fact, the first thing that you notice upon coming into this existence in a blink more than it was a uh, jump um, is is that the sky is significantly darker and there seems to be a gloom that seems to be held over across all of Pugmire and you look towards the city wall itself and you see that the walls have been overgrown with vines and that there is a red, murky liquid that is actually filling the entire open crater space God. that is the area around Pugmire. And you look in this overgrowth and you can see that there are giant ants. You know, ones the size of um, cows or oh. bulls. Right. That uh, yeah. you originally remembered were scaling mm-hmm. the wall before mm-hmm. you had blinked out of existence last time, but now they seem to be casually walking up and along the various parapets, almost like sentries or guards of the city itself. Jeez, oh, the murky red liquid. What does it look like? Uh, does well, it look like blood. If you, as you look down and stare at it a little more through the haze and the gloom, you can see. Yes, it is a lake of blood. God, that is Ivan. circling Pugmire. It's, so. it's a lake or like wow. a moat. A moat. A moat of blood. But if you remember the original map of uh, Pugmire, it would be hard to call it a moat. Right. I mean, I remember the original map, but if yeah. you wanted to describe it for people, who <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I mean, for, I'm crystal clear on it. But so still. for people who are remember who uh, may not remember it. Um, as accurately as Santiago does, uh, there essentially was a foothill. So there was a small lake bed um, that essentially went up to the city of Pugmire, and then there was a sheer wall that led up to essentially like if it was a dried lake, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so a moat is not terribly big. You know, it's only got five or uh, you know twenty, maybe thirty feet of width around it in order to make a moat proper. This is literally like a hundred. Uh, you know, a 300, 400 foot wide lake mm-hmm. that is just in every single direction, you know, from from one of the walls of Pugmire to the actual lake bed itself. So you are, uh, essentially, Pugmire is sitting with a single drawbridge or a single raised piece of earth that then has a drawbridge um, cutting into a vast lake that it stands in the center of. And the ants are on the outside of the lake, on the inside of the lake. They're up on the they're walls. They're scaling everywhere. the walls of Pugmire. Ugh. 
and seemed to be uh, essentially crawling all over it as if it was an ant mound of some sort. Oh, no. Come on. Ugh. Okay, wait. So, side note, who do we think Jimmy is? Because there were a few options. Obviously, Dottie was one. There was also a mouse that I don't remember his name, but he was helping out mm-hmm. in um, Basil Sheepington's store. Is Basil Sheepington with us? Basil Sheepington is not with you. Mm. However... There does seem to be a tiny little terrier that appeared Yay. out of uh, that seemed to also pop into an existence with you. Hi right. guys! <laughs> oh hey. And hey, what's up? How's it going? Uh, not good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, I I feel like I'm you know here, but oh okay. man. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, we we got a job to do, right? Let's let's do the job. Yeah, we have to find. Uh, yeah. And interestingly enough, um, friend is also there. Friend is there, but what does what does she look? Hello. Like? Friend still has her shocking white hair, oh. and appears, for all intents and purposes, to look exactly like she did back in the last world that you were in. That's gonna be weird in Pugmire. Oh my gosh, you are man. I worship you. Oh, you're all so. I worship you. I I bow down. This is man. It would be hard to call friend man at this point. She definitely has humanistic features, but. In a weird way, she has the shocking hair, and she has the humanoid features that you share as elevated creatures of this world, but she... Bipedal. Yeah, she seems Mm -hmm. to have, you would call her a little more featureless Mm -hmm. at this moment. Almost as if she's walking around as if, like, a blank slate. Um, A model or a mannequin. Okay. Perhaps people will see in her what they think they should see. Oh, Oh, uh, sorry, that was embarrassing. <laughs> and yes, for all intents and purposes, you have no idea what the citizens of Pugmore are looking like, but you see friend as as okay. friend. You know, welcome back, friend, and Miss Jade, who is now. I always Don't forget. You mean Scrappy. Or Jackie. What's Jackie. That? Jackie. Jackie. That's right, Miss oh. Jackie. Jackie. So. Jackie. Jackie the Jack Russell Terrier. Jack Russell Terrier. <laughs> I do remember that. So mm-hmm. I remember Cho- Cho- uh, Chovexani's fan art of <laughs> yeah. Jackie originally. Um, yes. So uh, the interesting thing is that you're all on this bridge, but no one has noticed you yet. In fact, you're midway through the bridge, and so you're in a perfect span of being to where the bridge began, um, cutting through the Lake of Blood leading to Pugmire and the city walls of Pugmire itself. Ah, uh, jeez. Welcome back, friend and Jackie. Thank you. It's good to be here. Good to see you. Oh, well, we don't if, have much time. Even if you will use a regular Miss Mrs. Blendin over here, we're gonna see how the other dogs react once they see you. We'll 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 check it out there. Well, that will be interesting, won't it? Yeah. I it feel will. the presence of another <laughs> <laughs> somewhere close by. Perhaps man is sending me vibrations of there could be another. Person oh, on no, our journey no, I, together. I mean, it's not man. Is, right? It's not the man. Man. There's there. It, it's not. I don't think it's man sending you, but it's just. It's just. He's here. There's a. There's a dog here. Oh. Yeah. It's uh. It is. Well, what type of dog does does um, Nathaniel kind of come into the uh, world of Pugmire as mutt? Definitely a mutt. Oh, it's it's a, a mutt. large mutt. Shaggy <laughs> mutt. Well, not, not more more short hair than Shaggy. Short but a large, much. like, uh... Large, short head. Is he, is like, he, yeah. is he mm. geared up in any particular way? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Conservatively, <laughs> how is he geared up? <laughs> SWAT team. <laughs> uh, yeah, wait, we're, we're, we are anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic, right? Anthropomorphic. Yes, mm. uh, pretty similar to the way, the way Nathaniel was geared up. Great. So you yeah. essentially yeah. are... Uh, a warrior class. You probably have a little bit of uh, some good iron armor with you with a long sword. Uh, nice. Maybe scaled a little taller than Antony, who is a bulldog. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, more rangery, lighter armor. Maybe so maybe some dual wielding if it's uh, available. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, that's where this we're is at. your world. You have brought yourself into it. Nathaniel mm-hmm. has essentially created a presence inside of Pugmire, of which mm-hmm. once there was one other here, but now is not. Right. So, cool. I apologize. You were planning to find Jimmy. What would you like yeah, to do? Yeah, uh, I think our first. I mean, like you said last time, uh, that we go for Dottie. 
She was the one that, you know, seemed to have the most emotional ties to one of us. Yes, Dottie and the, uh, the, the priestess. Yes, the, the golden retriever. I do not remember her name, and I have searched <laughs> <Yeah>. my <laughs> notes for Pugmire, and I have not I feel like it that. was something like Mansi or something very uh, pedestrian, shall we say. But mm-hmm. I don't fully recall. Mm. As I... You'd, You'd have to go watch you taking notes, so then I don't take my own. Oh, yeah, this <laughs> is my werewolf notes. <laughs> I've got tons of notes from werewolf. We did not find the friend in werewolf. Not yet. We haven't. This is our first one. Okay. This okay, is great. our first world to travel back great. through. Got it, guys. I don't know why we're trying to search our memories because we got actual friend over here. Let's just ask friend here. Hey, friend. Oh yes. Who are you? If we're here looking for pieces of you or a piece of you, where do we go? That's a good question. Let me think about that. And I I blink, and I look into the code. And you are unable to find... God damn it! That is supposed to hold into it. You have a general sense of where things can be. Like, there's a certain, like, a magnetic polarity that is certainly attracting you to a certain direction. Hmm. But since... It would be it would be like trying to bend your consciousness into as many different parts as there is Jimmy right now mm-hmm. and be able to triangulate that all at the same time while maintaining your focus on where you are now. Sure. It's a lot of information to cover and you aren't even close to fully operational yet. Could you perhaps see if you feel drawn in any particular direction? Yeah, it is the city of Bunkmeyer. Okay. I'm sorry, Santiago. I can't seem to find myself. Santiago? I don't know who Santiago is. I'm Anthony Bulldog. Wait, I'm also Santiago. Oh, man, this is confusing. This oh. must be a very trying Wait. time for you. I remembered everything. I'm sorry. I suppose we'll have to go about it the ordinary uh the ordinary Pugmire way. Hope, oh, you, have, you have some ideas? I just yeah. typed in, I, the first thing I saw when I looked at your paper says, solid bitch. And I appreciate that. Solid bitch. Ah, the old solid bitch. That was our favorite, our favorite bar we used to go to. Wait, before right. it says Trisha Pugmire. is a? Oh. Hey, I'll take it, yeah. solid. Here's, here's something I don't remember that maybe, Supone, you can help me remember. Sure. Re- going through the recesses of your memory, but yeah. who is on your friend here. I am assuming you was Nathaniel oh. before. Maybe he was Greyback? <gasps> no. Does he look like Greyback? No. No. No, Greyback was a part of the simulation. Um, I'm just showing off that I have my notes now. It's good. No, Greyback was <laughs> a part of the simulation. Yeah. This is an entirely new presence because Nathaniel is a user. Mm-hmm. He is a user in this world and as a result, okay. he created his own identity coming into this the same way that you all created an identity coming into this world on his own. Okay. So mm-hmm. who is this mutt that just I don't just know, appeared? Andy. I, 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 it's, he's not in my memory. What's your name, friend? My name yes? is... Yes? Ah. Ah. friend. Ah. Ah. I'm new friend. Ah. My name is Garen. Garen? Garen. Garen. G-E-U-R-I-N. Garen. G-E-U-R-I-N. Is that French? Sure. <laughs> French mutt. I don't know, I'm just guessing. <laughs> All right. Um, well, welcome, Garen. All right. It's good to have you on board. Yeah. It's good to finally be here. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I never got there. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Susie is the name of the, yeah, which is very close to Nancy, actually. Yeah, uh, golden Retriever and the, and the cleric. She's a cleric of man, um, and she's... We found her at the Leaky Cauldron. Ah, I thought we f- we were go- gonna go check the solid bitch, but I guess we're gonna go to the Leaky Cauldron <laughs> instead. That makes sense. It is, I don't know why I wrote solid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's its own note. Yeah, it's its own note. It's just says solid bitch. Nice. Well, it looks like we're a full pack now. Yeah. Fellow dogs. Solid bunch of bitches. So is it uh, <laughs> time to sniff out this uh, this Susie or Dottie? Or, or, or Dr. Hello. Jesse Pinkman is the name of the mouse. Oh, that's oh, right. that's correct. That was at Basil Sheepington. Hang on. Pause. Pause. 
Yes. One of us should probably take point. Soup Bone, do you want to head to pack? Yes, I do. And since we're outside the, the realm, outside the city limits of Pugmire, I think we should go for Dottie first. Uh, and I hopefully agree. she's wherever she is. She was with Basil Sheepington and Jesse Pinkman. And head, head there. So, yeah, I think we need to find a way into the, this city. Great. So as you walk towards the city walls of Pugmire, you start to notice a few more details about the city that you missed before. It definitely looks worn down. It doesn't look like it's been maintained at all. Hmm. Um, and you notice that a lot of the sentries that are currently walking along the parapets of Pugmire, as well as the ants that they are riding on themselves, are badgers. Oh, oh no. No, and we hate the badgers. And as you get closer to the main city, you can actually see that instead of the two um, palace guards that you were used to, or the city guards of Pugmire that you remembered from the last time you were here, it is instead two very nasty looking badgers holding halberds manning the main gates. No sign of cats. No sign of cats. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if the cats gave them Pugmire. Can we smell any dogs around? You can. It's faint, and it's another thing that you smell in the air as well, too. Fear. Mm. Pure, unfiltered oh, sure. fear in the area. Pugmire does not have that familiar homey scent, even to the mutts and the strays of Pugmire. It does not have that scent anymore. Instead, it smells like death and fear inside of this. I don't like it. No, this this isn't good. Um, I don't, I mean, do you think that Basil and Dottie would be, would still try to stay in this city under these circumstances? Now, just to be totally clear, I know that you've mentioned Basil a few times, but if you remember, Basil was Sam Winger. Oh, right, yeah, and he did. He did. Basil is not of the simulation anymore. Yeah, that's right. Basil's dead, soup bomb. <gasps> Thank you. It's almost as if I can't let it go. I definitely cannot let it go. Uh, he'll always be here. I guess we're just after Dottie then, but do you think Dottie, I mean, she's a Doberman. Do you think she would stay here when she has that adventurous spirit? She might be trapped. You're right. I she might be trapped, if nothing else, but in my circumstance. As you get closer, you can see the two badgers, as they approach you, put their paws up and goes, Halt! Dogs! What is your intent coming into Pugmire? We are looking for an old friend. Can I see your papers? Do we still have our horses from when we had... You only came with yourselves. Okay. You blinked into this existence with the equipment on your back, but I would like to remind you, um, even though you're currently at a manipulation level 11, is, is that this still newfound consciousness of this world allows you to manipulate it at your whim for a price, which is something you're still allowed to do. That's it's right. just mm -hmm. it's, it's something that has a cost attached to it is all. Do we have our papers? Do you want papers? Yes. We should mm. have papers. Who's going to roll for it? Because that is manipulating the world. Okay. Oh, boy. So oh, you're rolling be it? Careful. I see. So this is going to be, even though this is Pugmire, this is still, um, uh, we're still using World of Darkness rules, even though this is Pugmire, because oh, we're going to be hopping a lot. And uh, I think changing systems... Mm when you're going to be doing this as much as you're going to be doing it, will be challenging. Oh, I saved my Pugmire sheet. That's good. I'm glad you did. I'm like <laughs> frantically looking for I'm my not, Pugmire sheet. I'm not glad sheet, I did. So I will stop. No, mine seems Because if, if you have your Pugmire sheet and you can yeah. reference mine stuff from it, okay. it's yeah. all stuff that you can have. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Cool. I've got spells. Oh, you know, I got spells. All right. So, but in this <laughs> circumstances, uh, remind me remind me your mutt's name again? Garen. 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 Mm hmm Garen, you will still be making a Wits Plus Composure roll on that original oh, sheet. Okay. And you're going to be sitting with one, two, three, uh, negative three dice. Yeah. <laughs> 
And you are still fresh with 10 bennies for this um, session as well, too. Still fresh with 10? 10. 10 bennies. Cool. I can't seem to find my papers. Is anyone else? <laughs> who, who is, I'm sorry, what are the these papers? papers required for? <clears throat> Who are you? Any dogs wishing to enter Pugmire must show proper import papers, either as a merchant or as someone visiting Lord Meowgul. Well, Lord who? Lord Meowgul. Who are you, dog? Meowgul took over Pugmire? Yes. You I believe we foretold that as we were leaving. I you believe we saw a vision. Do you know this person? You're of a, you're of a noble lineage, right? I'm not yeah, sure it it's going to. It may be a detriment at this point. Right. Well, does anyone Perhaps else happen to have papers? Low. Perhaps one of you could check to see if you are holding our sheaf of papers. I uh, thought I had it. Right. I'll check. It's plus composure. Oh my God, y'all. <laughs> Minus three. Five. Nope. It's whatever I roll. One, two, three, four, five, five. Minus five. Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm down to zero, which is one. One. And if you have a dramatic failure... Can I use bennies to add to this one? Absolutely. I'll use uh, five bennies, please. Two, three, four, five. So now I have six. Yep. Uh, one... Success. One success. One success. Mm -hmm. What would you like the papers to say? Uh, oh, I got the papers right here. Uh, yeah, here, yeah, here we go. <laughs> and as you as you watch the badger grab the paper, he begins to unroll it. But what does it say onto it, Santiago? You can oh. make it. Oh, that's right. I'm manipulating reality. You're manipulating uh, reality. And he's manipulating the reality. He forgot for a second. And as the as the scroll is <laughs> getting unfurled. Like the words are magically Harry Potter esque <laughs> getting written. It's it really hurriedly. Just, <laughs> and it yeah. says, uh, hey, don't w mind these dogs. They're cool. Uh, these dogs are cool. They're good to go. Let them do whatever they want. They are hereby uh, <laughs> all the permission uh, from uh, from Lord Meow Ghoul, and they are on the level 100%. They are, uh, what was that? Uh, merchants. <laughs> merchants. They are merchants. Period. Mmm. <laughs> Doesn't sound like Meow Ghoul, but the seal's right. And every, and it is blood. Alright, go in. You watch as they crack the door open and fling it open, and you. Fantastic. Can I have my papers back, please? Mm, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, these might come in handy. Uh, as, the, as the door swings open, you see. Uh, several turned over merchant carts you see piles of trash and you see just a very different looking Pugmire what was once the grand glorious city that you once remember in which dogs and some cats even roamed freely among the streets with some areas of town maybe not being as good as others instead it looks like the dead took over. In fact, you can actually see there are a few legitimate skeletons that seem to be walking the streets, occasionally hissing and terrifying the few scattered amongst civilians that are you, you sure see going through. you sure they're not illegitimate through. skeletons? They're, they were made through <laughs> legitimate magic, yeah, so they're not illegitimate. What type of beasts were made into skeletons? Hmm? What type of beasts were they? Cats. Okay. So, skeletons of cats and a few dogs, even. So, mixed breeds. Mm. Uh, as you walk through the city of Pugmire, you see that no one seems to be giving you attention. In fact, minus the few sightless eyes sockets that stare at you through the occasional creature, uh, the sentries that are walking through the city. No dog gives you an eye in which to look at. They either have their heads down with hoods or seem to scatter quickly into dark alleys as you walk through the parts of the town. Let's go straight to where Basil's place used to be, the Shebington Books. What happened here? This doesn't seem right. Of course it's not right. 
we phased out before we could do anything about this. And it, and right as we phased out, we saw a vision of Meow Ghoul taking over the entire city. Every single dog bone in my body is making me want to save all these poor dogs, these poor people, but I've got to keep remembering this is real. We're on a mission. We gotta find a piece of friend over here mm -hmm. and get the hell out of here. Amscray to the next world. Think of it this way: if but you are able to complete, we are able to complete our mission. Uh, the simulation will rectify itself. We can easily true. re. And then we can just program. visit on vacation later. Mm -hmm. When it's nice and mm -hmm. when yep. it's nice. There's sweet rolls, and the only thing we have to worry uh. about is is uh, meth making mice. <laughs> Man, you sure remember a lot of this world. <laughs> It's real impressive, Soup Bone. I mean, until then, all of these people have to suffer? Well, if Because we, to them, it's real. If we can rewrite the program properly, they will not even recall or have gone through the suffering. All right, well, let's do it! What are we waiting for, guys? That's the only way. As, so. as your cheery, tiny little Jack Terrier voice pipes up into the midst of this dark and sullen street, you watch as one of the skeleton cat guards turns to you and... <laughs> As she takes a swipe at you with um, with one of their cat claws, digging into your arm just ever oh, so briefly. Don't fuck with Jackie. I'm As, gonna pull out my short sword. I hold up my my religious symbol, which is, if you recall, a tennis ball. Throwing right <laughs> as you as you hold it up at the skeleton as you hold your sigil of man up to the undead cat you watch as it puts its arm bone up into the midst with flesh dangling off of the oh. side um, as it puts it up and you see as it dicks its dips its head underneath and its red eyes glaring at you and it hisses again <laughs> as it slowly backs away out of the alley and you start to realize that you. Holding the symbol up, maybe drawing a lot of attention to your side. I tuck it back in quickly, and I. How are your wounds, dear? It's they're superficial scratches. Okay. Oh. You you clearly the tone and timber of your voice aggravated the undead inside of this town. Got it. <laughs> I mean, discreet. I'm okay physically. <laughs> Oh, but if that cat comes near me again, I swear to God! Jackie, I know. Jackie, Jackie, oh, 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 hey, yo, oh, 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 Quite more difficult to kill than normal ones. Yeah, come at me like, again, I'll show him the boss of swear. And hold him in bay for a few moments only. Look, you know the old saying, all dogs go to heaven. But I'm in no rush to find out if that's true, okay? <laughs> You're like a rusty dick. I love that. Yeah, right? Hey, I tell you. <laughs> I'm in no rush to find out. This is the best. <laughs> uh, Rover Dangerfield is <laughs> my other <laughs> name. <laughs> that's a stage name, sir. I believe I saw you at the Mutt Mutt Club. Un <laughs> Underappreciated movie, I will say. Yeah, I loved so. that film. Um, oh, that and Rock a Doodle. Oh, oh. Rock a Doodle, Rock -a -doodle. Right. also underappreciated. Now, where are we going? You're still walking through the streets of Pugmire, and it That's is. Why, if I if I remember back, <laughs> do I remember anything from it? Because I do remember bits and pieces of different worlds that I've you been do. in. Mm -hmm. You do definitely remember Pugmire, Frank. What do you remember? If from I Pugmire? look back, I look. I I pause a moment. And I look at my hands. Pause. Uh, <laughs> You do, do I? You want to look at your hands? Yes. Fuck, it's really Everybody good. look at your hands. I, I, I look at my hands and I blink for a second. Uh, and, and my eyes sort of glaze over. I want to roll for this. I just don't know what roll I want. Mm. Um, I look back into my code. How about intelligence? And... Wits. No, wits is presence. I want some fucking presents. There we this. go. Minus, Minus 12. Wait, no, well, this <laughs> is, she's not manipulating reality. Ah. If you want presents, wait for your uh, what, what's, <laughs> what's a What's a success? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Nine and ten. ten. And, and do I re-roll them? Or? You re-roll that just, ten. Okay, just roll them. Uh, so three successes. Three successes. Nice! So friend, as you look down in the middle of the street and you attempt to blink your hands for the moment, you open them ever so briefly and in your hands you can see that they 
are not dark hands. <laughs> they seem to be hairless, thin with long claws. The could, be, could be Mexican hairless. Pink. <laughs> long claws. Mouse, maybe mouse? Maybe a Can mouse. We, do, do we notice she's looking at her? No, she's just <laughs> looking into her memory, in her history, right. as you could say. Um. Um, browser history? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I blink and I, I take a look at the code yeah. and for a second I catch a flash of what my hands were in this or what a part of me was mm -hmm. in this and I blink back and I say, friends, I don't believe that I was a dog in here. I think we may be looking for a mouse. Is yeah. that somebody that you may have encountered? Yes, yes, Jesse, Jesse Pinkman. He's, uh, he's the mouse. He, he, we actually helped him. We... Oh, we actually exploded his chemistry cart <laughs> when we yes. first walked in. Oh, we helped him uh, <laughs> change professions. Oh, well, yeah. that's awfully friendly of you. <laughs> Where was he? Helped him along his way. Well, the last we goodness. we left him at Basil Sheepington's bookshop. That was the last place we we left him. Mm. Something Upstairs. tells me we should go there. Mm. I agree. agree. So you begin traveling down the streets of Pugmire as you. Um, I'm gonna keep an eye out for any anybody who's paying undue attention to us. I'm keeping a hand on the hilt of my sword. Uh, as you begin to walk through the city streets, um, uh, yeah, uh, go ahead and make a wits plus composure. It's a lot of wits plus composure for noticing oh things God. around here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we're just having a day, aren't we? <laughs> Nothing? Nothing. Oh, you don't seem to notice really anything interesting going on. Uh, and as you continue to walk through the streets of Pugmire, you um, you get close to Basil's old bookshop. And you can actually see the sign of his original bookstore, which, remind me what it was called, Amy. I think it was just called Sheepington. Sheeping, uh it was just called Sheepington's, actually. Sheepington's. Bookstore and Artifacts. So as you see the rugged sign of Sheepington's Books and Artifacts, it is dangling from a single chain oh, as wow. it occasionally whacks against the side of the clearly, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Condemned building. You can see the door has been boarded up as well as the windows, and it seems that no one at least for a while, has been in or out of this place. Well, you were best friends with Basil and Nate. There's no way he would leave without letting you know where he would go. We've got to get in there and search. See if he left uh, some sort of message. That's a good point. I don't know what the rules are of, uh, of uh, these bodies that we inhabit and what happens to them after, you know, we... I guess, uh, I'm trying to think of it like a dog euphemism for dying. Uh, uh, chase, chase the, chase the last car? I don't know. Uh, doesn't matter. Chase the last sure. truck wagon yeah. under the yeah. sink. Get chase that, the stick in the that, ocean. Get to that park in the sky. Mm. Pretty good. I'm gonna need some from everybody here. What else we got? I smell what you're stepping in. It's okay. That's Ch a good one, too. Chase uh, the stick into the ocean? Uh, chase the stick into the ocean. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> yeah. We all do it. We're all gonna do roll, it. Uh, roll around <laughs> in the dirt. Yeah, I mean, I Super like that. You have kids, yeah. right? How's your kids? <laughs> yeah, oh, I don't know. I, don't. I have your, so many kids. I, I got, so one, I got kids. one for you. Dug your final hole. Oh. Dug oh. your final oh. hole. Oh, that's and then lie down in it and die. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I know. Too much. Age your, last, your last patch of grass. What I'm saying is, <laughs> if I'm saying anything at all, I don't know if Basil would have had time to put his, his affairs in orders, if you will, but if he did, you're absolutely right, Super Boone. He, 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 he would have... He would have left things in a nice, neat, orderly fashion. So let's bust in there. We gotta, we gotta cool. check it let's out. Check. And keep in mind, he had an apprentice called Gloria. <laughs> I remember Gloria. Yeah, yeah of course, Supo. We all remember Supo. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I just wanted, I just. Actually, my my okay. recollections are fuzzy. That's, 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 <laughs> that's true. Supo's. That's helpful, Gary. That's very helpful. nice. So how are you gonna break <laughs> into the condemned building of poor Sheepington's books and artifacts? Is there anybody around? Is there any cats, badgers, or skeletons around? There is definitely patrols Fuck. that occasionally seem to be walking by, but they are not standing there. Right. They're walking through. Well, I remember there was a second story. I was going to say second story, back door. That's right. That's where the chemistry lab was. Yes, yes, yes. How about a back door? Let's 
Um, Could this place possibly have a back door? I'm not sure. I What's the remember. geography of the of the building? Mm -hmm. Is it like so is it right up against the wall? So is imagine like imagine like isolated. Uh, so think of old London, in the sense that there's a lot of buildings that are very close together. Mm -hmm. Um, in fact, Pogmire is very crammed in the sense that, like, Basil Sheepington's is near wall to wall, yeah. um, with a small alleyway that you can cut right through into the next major street, as all good Renaissance era kind of buildings are. And in that, and through that alleyway, can we see the other street? And is there also yes. sentries? Okay, so this is going to be tough to do without getting noticed for all of us to get in there. Well, the, to be fair, the the you can definitely conceal yourself in the alleyway and not likely be seen. Is there the second story window in the alleyway? It is, there is one, absolutely, but it is boarded up just as the same as every other entry and exit into the place. All right, who's got some tools to maybe sneak in? Jackie, you got Jackie. anything on you? You're small, you're a small dog. Uh, yeah, let me see if I got anything on me. Well, does Jackie have anything on her? You have your old character sheet, right? I don't have my old character sheet. Ooh. I'm guessing. What? Uh, Jade always I, has a lockpicking kit on her. So. I do recall Jackie was some sort of a rogue. I do Jackie remember. was a rogue. So yep. you would... You she, would uh, I know she has a short sword. But if you wanted something as practical as a crowbar, you may have to manifest that as something mm. as part of your reality. If you just want to pry the boards open, well, that takes no special tools. Yeah, to let's, so. just, let's just let's see just what, the kind of, uh, what kind of yeah. skills I... All right, remember. well, uh, Jackie, you're going to be making a dexterity okay. plus strength check to get up to that Dex second story plus window. Love strength. Love it. Okay, can, here we go. Can I give her a boost since, you know, she I have rolled. hands and legs? I just rolled, oh. and it's okay because I got three successes. Oh yeah. <laughs> With a nimble amount of dexterity, you, uh, <laughs> you tressure or parkour up. Oh. <laughs> And managed to grab a hold of the lip of the of the second story window, lifting yourself up ever so slightly as your five friends continue to act as lookouts or just casually hang amidst the alleyway uh -huh. blocking the site. Just being merchants, just merching it up, <coughs> down there, guys. And oh, you, my um, tail is wagging. My tail is wagging. You're All right. <laughs> you're surprised to see that there's actually um, a hole that is small enough that you won't actually have to pry boards in. Great. Um, that is just big enough to fit a Jack Russell Terrier sized awesome. dog through. Okay, so oh. I'm just gonna kinda. Lean it's a back tight down. squeeze, and you can feel your hips pressing against the wood a little bit. Oh, I ate one too many bones. Ooh, but you wiggle through, and you somersault. <laughs> yeah. Into the second story window. And as you somersault into the second story window, you notice a kick of dust just lifts up in the midst of the air and you can see that the small amount of light that's still coming from the gloomy Pugmire sun is just making large shafts of light in this dark and murky and it's mm. besides those it's almost pitch black inside of here oh boy okay um, hey Jack do you let us in. in yeah yeah do I see any windows or doors or anything that I can you let can them go in go downstairs yeah yeah dude I'm going alright well um, we're just casually like walking back and forth in the alleyway around the building around past the doors. Okay. And I, I kind of want to be like talk walking about like checking out before a step. Checking <laughs> out before yeah. every time. Just tapping it. Um, yeah. You uh, you get down while tapping you're tapping your toe for yep. potential traps, mm -hmm. uh, and you get down to the um, bottom of Basil Sheepington's library, and you can see it is a fucking, if I may be so uncouth, rack. Oh, how dare you? Yes. My it ears. is, there is, oh, there is books you. everywhere. You okay. can see that the place has been gutted tremendously, raided up to high hell. Um, and unfortunately, you can open the door, but the, the boarding situation that they had unfortunately come through is still, uh, it's still the windows and the doors are boarded up. So you can open the door, unlock it, and open the door. In fact, you do, and you can see the blackness of Basil's um, house kind of pierce or, or frame Jackie as she peeks her tiny little terrier head out and looks at the five of you and tries to motion you in. But, you know, it's... it's I don't know that we're going to find what we're looking for here, guys. Um, Have you looked at all, though? No, I mean, like, come on in, but okay. it just... Which plus composure. Okay. Oh, no. You can do it. Okay. 
Mm, that's not the right one. Okay. Uh, that is Ooh, one, two. Yes. Two successes. Nice. You hear barely the softest, most discreet right behind you. Oh, oh no. Okay. Uh, so my uh, my eyes are gonna get real big. Yeah. As I look at everyone, and kind of go like I'm not. I'm just gonna freeze. I'm not gonna move. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of go. Um, I pull out my bow. <laughs> <coughs> uh, you pull out your bow. Are you gonna fire into the darkness? Or? Hell no. Okay. So you're you you pull out your bow in the middle of the street of Pugmire and yank it back. Uh, you've you've motioned. You can hear. Start the hand whipping down what? as you feel a dagger plunge into the back oh, of you. Maybe you should have moved. What? <laughs> no. yes. um, okay. As you whip around and you see a cat in a long black hood with a giant robe discarded on the bottom me. of it and has its single hand out as it has just thrown a dagger. What a bitch. That's a solid bitch. Not a solid, not a solid bitch. No. Not a solid as you bitch. feel this thing, you, you can feel the short, bladed dagger protruding from your shoulder as you whip around. Can and I can I get you. to it with my teeth to tear it out? You can get it with your hand. Okay. You know, I don't know why you need your teeth and to my do paw. it, but you're welcome to do it with your dependable thumbs. Okay. Um, yes, you can. Oh, God. Oh, God, does it hurt. But you pull the knife I'm out. I'm ripping it out. Right. And you stand there and I'm stance. running on adrenaline. Okay, good. Uh, you're going to, by the way, take um, two lethal damage. Okay. Antony grabs Jackie and pulls her up out into the alleyway so that we can have easier access to this cat. You're going to reach your hands through the boards, but mm -hmm. because the boards are still there in place. I'm going to shatter them like the Incredible Hulk. Oh! Yeah. oh. <laughs> right. So, Antony, you're going to make just a fucking strength. Cool. And um, let's do presents. As on he's this. doing that. To rip I will those let boards loose up. An arrow. And you'll let loose an arrow. I will strike at the boards with my mace. And you'll strike the boards with your mace. Shatter them. Okay. I'm going to check success. the perimeter. Okay, and you're going to check the perimeter. Yes. Friend? Um, I go straight for them. I have, I manifest my shield. And I... Which looks like what in this world? Um, in this world, <clears throat> it's, a, it's a medieval... Buckler. World, right? It looks like it looks like a buckler. It's uh, God, I forget the cut of it. It's but it, it looks like like a, a shield with with a coat of arms, but you can still see it glowing faintly. Um, I don't mean to put you on the spot here, uh, but which coat of arms would you like it to be? Um, I'll give you a bunch of houses that you can have. It's um, yeah. it so actually it. Um, there's the fanatics of the Church of Man, House Poodlian. Poodline. Poodline. Thank you. Poodline. House Houndton, House Terrierton, House Pembroke, House Pugmire of the Plastic Castle, House Mastophane. That's the one I'm a part of. Right. right. House Pomani, and then... It actually has a combination of whoever has different houses so in your, of all of our searches. friends. So it has, it has the sigils in a circle. They're all connected by... Uh, by Glowing tendrils of uh, circuitry. Cool, nice. awesome. So you it. pop that, boom, it comes into being. Uh, you are and attacking. I stand in you're front attacking of everybody. the boards. Strength plus presence for you as well too. Same okay. boat attacking. You got one success. One success. You're going to be doing a dexterity. Um, uh, yeah, I was wondering. I have it. I mean, my bow is fucking sick. I'm like, it's a plus two long bow. Okay, then get two plus two dice. And you're going to do this, so this is still going to be weaponry plus dexterity for you as far as your weapon well, world of darkness. Well, thank God I have zero weaponry, so. Right. And one dexterity. What did you say my roll? Strength plus what? Um, strength plus uh, brawl, actually. And if you can reference stuff from your Pugmire sheet to use it. I can. Weapons. I know that I had a, pl I had a strength of, a, of 13, so that gave me plus one. So can so I add get a, a bonus die? dice. Right. So did I shatter this wood and save Jackie with my one success? Well, with your one success, you're going to break some boards. Let's see how much they break it with it. One success? Okay. One. So, all right. So Ignatius Terrierton, in a single blow, takes his mace down and cracks a few of the boards that are opening and nice. barring the way between Jackie as you 
Um, Antony grab Jackie and pull her through the broken boards, um, getting her out of the way of the Go, shoot, bone, shoot, fire! As the as suit bone you lets fly. You got it, Antony. As you hear suit, and you hear a thud as something, as it struck something. Yeah. You know? Um, That's why they call a suit bone. That's right. I'm gonna, any, I, anybody Lucero's noticing the commotion? My foes. Straight as a suit bone. And you do... What's that, Garen? And uh, you do hear the mild groan. That was a good cat groan. (laughs) (laughs) Meow, meow, motherfucker. (laughs) Uh, What would you like to do? I'm looking to see if anybody's noticing our commotion. Oh, God, yes. Are they noticing the fact that there are six dogs pulling weapons out in the middle of the street? Here. You can start to hear people crying as dogs are beginning to scatter everywhere as which they can. I'm going to say move into the building. Everybody in. Everybody in. Okay. Good call. Everybody in. We don't know how many cats are in here. Everybody in. I I was already on my way. All right, so all six of you jump into the midst of... I'll cover the rear. As you stand guard in the midst of the door. I'm shutting the door. Uh, is it going to kill all the light? It's going to kill 90% of the light. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I will pull the door, too, but not shut it so there's enough light to fight by. I can cast light. Well, then do so, sir. Kind sir. May I? Yeah, cast light. So May I? Light cast, <laughs> shut the door. I cast light on the ceiling! <laughs> you don't need to ask my permission for shit that you can do, man. So, uh, yes. No, I just went, like, you know, in the order of... Things. Oh, in the order of the things? Order of man. Sir, you may cast light. As you raise your sigil of man to the top of the ceiling, you ignite Basil's old candle shop, uh, chandelier. Candelabra chandelier. Yeah, mm. candelabra chandelier. As it boom, comes into existence, but not yes. with the natural flame, which you would expect, yeah. but with the glorious light of man. Mm. Um, as it bathes the area around, and you can truly see the disheveled, disgusting, torn up nature of this bookstore, as well as five cats perched into various places on bookshelves, on the steps in various places, each one of them in full black shrouds, which you could not have seen before this light was brought into being, but now they are all perched and these cat assassins are now all staring at you with, with wide eyes as their uh, uh, eyes are adjusting to the brightness and they are temporarily blinded. Good. Temporarily I'm going to pull my crossbow, my, yeah. formerly my shotgun, now a crossbow, <laughs> off my back. Nice. Uh, aim Take it. a shot. Yep. Um, so dexterity plus weaponry. And he's going to pull out his sword and say, in Basil's own house, in Basil's house! Great. <laughs> ready for Fair. It. How many gonna, of are them gonna, are there? Five. Shit. Are you going to rush one? Yeah, I'm gonna rush the closest one. That would be the one that was shot with. I'm gonna bones. cut his fucking head off. All right. Hey. Uh, strength plus hey. weaponry for me, please. One success. One success. How is the rest of our troop looking? Uh, I, I guess I'll fire again. By the way, my longbow's awesome. It's 1d8 plus 2 damage. It's pretty good. Plus 2 dice is also pretty awesome. Plus 2 dice, yeah. Okay. Then, uh, uh, shit. I would like to, like. What? Sneak into the shadows uh-huh. along the wall somewhere and position myself for a sweet stealth attack. Well, there's no more shadows. He killed all the shadows in this area. That's <laughs> why you can see them all. You can get a little bit on the bookshelves and other items, but um, you're, you're, he essentially removed the stealth option inside of this place pretty quickly. My broadsword says plus three on my Pugmire sheet. Then plus three dice. Hell yeah. Pugmire sheet. All right. Oh, wait, I just had a question and I forgot it. What, oh, well. what else do we have in the surroundings? What do we see? A disheveled, broken bookstore <laughs> that has seems to have been stripped. Various books and shelves are still scattered amongst the floor, but it's mostly broken shelves, um, torn paper everywhere that you can see. And the areas that, if you remember Antony Basil's prized collection of the artifacts of man mm-hmm. that were laid up on the top of his um, counter, his his uh, his private desk. They're gone. I would prefer that they were gone. All gone. Good. Yes. Because if they were disheveled, I would be so mad. But oh. hopefully, they've all been looked like it's been taken, raided, whatever you want to. If they were taken, assume. more than likely he took them with them. Yeah. 
Whatever uh, form of battle that exists. I got three successes. I oh. cut that cat's head off. Yes, you did. Uh. You slice that cat, and you just you you, you you separate its head from its torso as it flies through the yes. air, and you watch as the cat just you know still gripping the arrow that Soup Bone had inside of him just slumps over as every other cat hisses. What happened when I popped? Well, you popped one, and so you fired a crossbow up into the air mm-hmm. and managed to um, pin another one down at least. You watch as it, as it basically dips down in order to avoid your crossbow bolt and ducks against one of the side of the banisters on the main... So I didn't hit it? No, you didn't hit it, but it's but it's but it, it, you pinned it. I have so. a success on... I have one success with my longbow. All right. As you as you let loose a longbow... <laughs> into the top of the one that's sitting on top of the bookshelf. You watch as it dives madly to get out of the way, especially jumping off of the eight-foot-tall bookshelf, landing itself in front of Antony, landing on all fours, picking itself back up, bing, wheeling two daggers inside of the Am I in a position to be behind any of these cats? That cat, you could probably, it's to your side. You're about over there as far as relative to it. Probably get a flank on it. All right, so, yeah, I'd like to get a flank on it. And all right, go we'll it. go ahead and make a, make a dexterity plus a weapon re-roll if you want to be all subtle about it. I do, Sneaky man. Wiki. I do, man. Three successes. Nice! All right, so as this one uh, comes into place, it looks, it, it looking straight towards Antony coming in, you come in with your dagger, yeah. and you just gut it right in the ribs. As you take it in, you hear, Ow! as you pull it out and it slumps down to the floor, clearly mortally wounded as it's writhing in pain before it goes still. I've had fur balls worse than you. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to go for an incapacitate on one of them, uh, smashing it with the shield. Nice. One of the ones that are down? Uh, are they all down? Oh, no. No, 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 no just one of the... Just one of the one of the ones that's that's still on its feet. There's two, okay. there's two under yeah, the So are you shield bashing it or are you throwing the shield? How are you how are you working it? Um I'm I'm shield bashing. Alright, so um, in that circumstances, you'd have to probably climb up the banisters because the only one the ones that are on the floor now is the one that Anthony dispatched, and then the one that um uh, Jade, aka Jackie, just uh, disemboweled. So. Okay. Um, which you could do easily. You could leap up to one of the banisters and try to. So I'm gonna leap up, leap up to the one of the banisters and try to tackle it, so so that it's prone. All right. So you're you're going for it. So dexterity and athletics, please. Please. Good, good, good. Go, friends, go. Oh. Uh. Three, four, uh, four successes. Oof, all right, well, that's enough. So you leap up, jump up to the top, almost floating more than jumping, as if gravity doesn't abide by the same laws that you do. And you float up, essentially, and with your golden shield, you crash it down onto the bottom of the banister, essentially pinning it, and you can see its face hissing at you as you push it deeper, and you can hear would start to crack as you press it deeper into the banister. Um, Anthony, you feel a volley of daggers fly towards you as all of the other cats, seeing you in the center, all fling their throwing daggers at you. And you start to see as small streaks of silver all fly from different directions, mm. hitting you boom, 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 in three different directions. One or two of them bouncing off your armor, but right. you're going to take at least three lethal. No! Ouch. Okay, ah, that hurt. Oh, boy. I roll over like a good boy, and I get on the ground <laughs> and make sure that I'm, I'm going to be a harder target to hit because if I was out in the open, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of roll off to the side. Roll off to the side. It's only three rolls over. Left up, no, two and, left up, um, right. All right, so now we're back up to the top again. What's everyone, everyone want to oh, do? we got two, two left, right? I charged yeah, the How many do we have one. left? You have uh, one that's pinned. Uh, they had five originally. You killed two. One's pinned, so there's two left. Mm-hmm. They're both on bookshelves. I charged one Wait, of the bookshelves. No, what, what was the one that I had? I, 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 it one. rolled off oh, for Jackie so I, to I go call, and get all it. I, I, I call out to you to that's knock over the bookshelves. That's what I was about to do here. Don't knock over them? 
Knock over the bookshelf. Knock over the bookshelf. She'll bash the bookshelf, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm going to, uh, who wants to go Are first? Are you doing it? Yeah, I'm going to use my martial arts skill to, uh, throw a mighty kick at a bookshelf. To and just try to try topple to them all the down? Top it over or crush it so it'll, uh, crush the second one. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> topple them right. all down. Um, as you, uh, as you run over and, um, I, I yeah, this, well, yeah, make a strength plus brawl check for this, or martial arts, however you want to handle it. Um, just because there's always a chance it could not go well. Brawl. You got this, Garen. Come on, Come on, Garen. Two successes. As you run up, okay. you roundhouse kick the bookshelf, and you watch as, it, as whatever supports Basil had put in place just creak and snap out as it dominoes into the next one, which falls into the next one. And you can Heck see yeah. was that both of the cats that were currently on the bookshelf meow, jump off of it as one of them leaps onto the side of the building, and then the other one crumbles down along to the side into the back of the house. I if, pursue the one in the back of the house. If right. I was in the way of the bookshelves, I jumped out of the way, you guys. You are yeah. in the way. Mm-hmm. Exactly. We're all centralizing it. Okay. Are we gonna have to kill uh, these I'm guys? I'm gonna shoot the one on She's his way out. She's got one trapped. We can kill one that's on the wall. Uh, he's the one that's running away. There. Are, well, no. One jumbled onto the back of the uh, bookshelf for sure, um, but uh, uh, or to the back of the shop, <laughs> and then one mm-hmm. leaped onto the wall, oh. was attempting to climb up. Uh, then if you're going for the one at the back, I got this one Seems up like here. Seems like he needs an arrow or two. Yeah. 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 Perfect target for a ranged weapon. Yes. Great. So fire at a dexterity and weaponry. You know what's up. Plus two. Yes, I do. Um, and then uh, is anyone pursuing the one in back? Please. I am. Okay. Go for it. I'm going to follow right. Ignatius. I'm going to go with uh, Ignatius. Right. All right. No successes. No successes. Ooh. So you pin an arrow to the wall right next to it. And it actually, the cat actually uses your arrow shaft as a boost up as it continues to make its next climb up onto uh, the second story. Damn, I missed. Two successes. Good. Oh, what was I rolling? Weaponry and um, strength. For for following this guy? Yeah, well, yeah, for following and attacking him under the back. You haven't done anything about it. One success. Just one. One success. One is better than none. One is all you need. Great. So, um, Ignatius and Antony, as you run into the back of the shop, looking f- everywhere for the cat to see if it had run up through the back, as you are looking around, you look up and you actually see the cat <laughs> jump oh! from another one of the no! side parts. But you, with your sword, you deflect it and fling it off to the side as you cut it down at roll. Not today, Satan. <laughs> as it tries to attempt one more throw at you and just misses. As it flings its dagger, you chink it off the side of one of your blades. Ignatius, take it out! As Ignatius comes and brings its mace down onto its onto its, uh, onto its back, pinning its cloak as it attempts to rip its cloak in order to get out. Um, I want to go, I, want, I think I want to go after the cat that's soup on this. All right, you're gonna climb up after it? Yeah, dude. All right, so uh, dexterity plus athletics for Jackie, who is going to scramble up like a dog chasing a cat up a tree. Yeah, dude. Uh, after this thing. All right, I got one success. One success. All right, you scramble up, and as the cat is about to squeeze through one of the holes of the boarded up, area, you grab a hold of its hind claws. Hell yeah, I do. And you thump it back down as you both crash down to the floor. Okay with it. Both sprawled out. <laughs> and okay. at that point, um, yeah, one more time. Garrett? Garen. 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 Garen and uh, Jackie, you both look to see uh, the front of Basil Sheepington's store. And you can actually see Skeletons and badgers starting to flood in from the no! front gate. What? We gotta go. Close and lock the door. You didn't say you locked the door. You said you ran up and kicked the the, the bookshelf. No, as soon as no, he, he cast said the light. he closed yeah, the door. Yeah. When I well, cast light. Then you hear the banging the on the door. You can hear people start to, to to breathe as you hear a badger go. 
Who's in this building? Oh, We're going to break it down. Come out with your paws up. Is there a bookshelf that... Wait, wait, wait. Uh, so what do we... So you got that guy. You guys got that guy. I you shout out uh, in a cat tone. I say, we have some dangerous criminals cornered over here. Don't come in. It's a delicate situation. Is there uh, a bookshelf that can be pushed into the door? Uh, there's bookshelves everywhere. You can absolutely push it, but what, uh, you'd have to manhandle it over there. But absolutely, I should, so. I should, I should like to do that when we get when, when it's over. <laughs> you hear a loud as the banging continues. You hear the loud response back. Goes, Who's in there? What cat is currently in the condemned building in the Lord Meow Goose territory? This building is off limits to all dogs and cats. Uh, Dare you question the royal guard of his highness, the Meow Ghoul? Brief pause. We are the royal guard! <laughs> we, are, we are the secret royal guard! We are conducting a test! Is that a dog in there? Um, you hear the banging oils? <laughs> <laughs> no, meow, meow, meow! Okay. meow. <laughs> You're pushing the, pushing the bookshelf mm -hmm. Bookshelf, let's, get, let's give a bookshelf to the All right. Have uh, we, what, have we, what am I using here? Reconvened? What's, what's happening right now? Do they have any I, more cats to kill? So I, as, you're, as you've been dealing with, there are still cats to contend with because there's the one that you is essentially getting out of the way and then there's the one that's sitting down with Jackie at the moment and they've taken this moment of confusion to attempt their escape again. So they are both, I, one of them has their or cloak ripped from um, uh, uh, from Ignatius's um, uh, da, 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 uh, mace as it attempts to like pull away from the pin down mace. Is the one that's next to you, Jackie, essentially rolled over and is attempting to jump back up. She's also got her shield. I have, I have the one that's that one pinned. pinned. Yes, mm -hmm. which it actually should probably try to attack you. Now that I remember, that, remember that it's there. You know. I'm gonna yell oh, at Jackie. Nothing. Jackie, we're gonna have to leave real soon. If you can find I, anything, please, please. I, I, so I, I press harder into the one, the one on the floor. Please don't make me hurt you, please. Where's the mouse? The mouse that was here. It spits in your face. Fuck. No mouse is here. We followed you, dogs. Oh, that would have been the, the uh, observation check I missed. <laughs> That's okay. We didn't get it either. That's okay. Uh -huh. Um, did you press it down more? But but let me let me get into this. Are are you are you letting Is those he... other two cats escape, or are you trying to finish them off before they get out? That's what I want to know. It's it's you. Oh. Um, um, well, you. no, I I would definitely I would, I'm going to keep attacking. Yeah, if you're well, shouting at me to start searching. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna say, all right, but you take out this cat. You got it, Jackie. This one's for you. All right. I kiss and, my face. Hey, uh, wait, wait. Just oh, wait, wait a second, I'm absolutely taking this broadsword, and I'm gonna try to uh, kill it and stab it through the heart. All right, so take it out. So go ahead and do another weapon re. Um, are you trying to escape? Right. Are you trying to... Uh, I mean, are you letting the cat escape or are you attacking the cat? And I am pushing the book up the door. What are you guys doing? I'm not trying Why would I let the cat escape? I'm not letting the cat out of this bag. One, Three successes. One success. God, I can't. So do I assume it would be investigation and what? It would be investigation and deck. And, um, one wits. success. And wits. wits. Uh, one success? Yes. All right, so you take the closest bookshelf that's right along the side of one of the old windows mm -hmm. and you basically just boom, slam it down so that it acts as a makeshift barricade. As you look around and probably say something witty like, that'll buy us some time, or something like that. Um, We're all booked up for a while! As Anthony, um, as, the, as the cat is running for the back door, it grabs a hold of the handle, but then you run it through the back as the sword right through it and pins itself against the door. Good to know there's a back door, though. Might want to put a bookshelf in front of that. Yeah. <laughs> every book, every good to, bookshelf's got a back door. So. Hopefully we won't have to kill these things nine times. <laughs> it slumps down to the ground and falls dead. Mm -hmm. I have uh, one success on my bow. You shoot it, but you shoot it as it's getting up, taking a, taking a, a superficial wound to the arm and the shoulder as it clams and attempts to make its climb back up to get out. How much did success? Only one success on my one. investigation. So, um, Jackie, as you're running around, you uh, uh, you essentially start running yeah. through various parts of Basil's um, home. You go upstairs, and the the one thing that you notice is is that the uh, the chemistry, the alchemy lab that uh, was originally left, well, 
it's hard. You you were there actually mm-hmm. when that actually happened. So you remembered that uh, uh, Pinkman essentially set up a small alchemy lab up there, but it was only a few items, a couple beakers, a okay. Bunsen burner, a few things. It's huge now. In fact, it's taken up most of the upper part of Basil Sheepington's place. Okay. It is. It looks like a giant lab that is only very delicately concealed through a couple of curtains that you've had to pull back. Okay. Um, and as you come back downstairs, you actually hear a that seems to be coming from below you. Okay, great. I'm going to start sniffing around, see if I can see if any of these boards are loose. Or... All right. So you start hearing the banging on the door over and over again. Lauren goes, you, you four, go around the back. You, skeletons. Ugh, I hate these things. Push! As you feel the, you can actually see the door and the boards break as you hear the splintering of wood as it slams against the side of the bookshelf that now appears to be rocking with each one of the successive hits. Another bookshelf? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are we all doing now? Well, he hasn't gone yet. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I got two successes for. Oh, it's the same one that Anthony ran through. So you both took him down. Like, okay. he stabbed him through, and your mace come in, but that cat is very much dead okay. as you broke into it. He, uh, uh, so there's uh, only one left, then. There's only one left of him okay. climbing up the wall. Oh, Two. and the one that, that yeah. she's, she's disabled. Dead. Subduing. Mm-hmm. Subduing at this point. I want to search the body of the one I just killed to see real briefly, real quickly, because yes. I know we're pressed for time in this situation, yeah. to see if there's anything helpful, any kind of clue, anything. Mm-hmm. Got it. Um... Perfect. You don't have to check for that. I'll just tell you what you find in a few minutes. I'm definitely gonna shoot my goddamn bow at it. And then fire at it again. Get it. As you're just lobbing arrow after arrow, chasing this cat down. Bow. I love it. Bow. Yeah. Still just one, but maybe more. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Three successes on one die! Yeah. Yeah. That exploder exploded twice. I, I haven't said this in a long time, but I feel it's appropriate to be able to say it again. Would you paint the picture of its demise? Yeah. yeah! Okay, so I've been doing I've been doing little splinters here and there with my arrows into their skin, and this time it's going to not only pierce the flesh, but explode into the flesh. So I take a look, and I, and I did say, Jackie, this one's for you. And I, <laughs> I kiss the arrow, and I focus with one eye, and I let loose loose the I let loose the arrow and it it um, it's right when the the cat kind of takes a hit scrambles up a little bit and then and then here's something coming that sounds a lot like soup boom and, and <laughs> the cat turns around to hiss at me because he thinks he's gone or she thinks she's about to get out and as she turns to hiss the arrow just so she, she goes and it yeah. right and down and falls flat on her stupid feline face. All right. Well, that cat. cat is down yes. and its jaw is open as you see the fletching still barely sticking out, but the rest of the arrow has gone through the other side. Right. This stage. It's as if that cat caught a bird and the bird was my arrow. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. All right. That's pretty good. Um, I'm putting that one in for later. Oh. <laughs> that's great. Jackie, you continue to investigate. Is there anyone else who is uh, wanting to do anything more about this? Yes, another situation? bookshelf. And then you've got your. Right. Oh, your, wait. Uh, your room help? There's more bookshelves. There's plenty of bookshelves. Yeah, let's, let's, let's get a second book, book, bookshelf. Two bookshelves on the back door and a bookshelf on this door. And then but also, I would like to. Uh, attend, I would like to. Uh, so. Look at uh, my party's wounds and see who. Right. Is the most hurt. I. Writing. Well, this this may this this all may be happening a little too fast for you to sit down and do a prayer for man. But if you want to take five minutes or so to be able to do a rite in order to heal him, um, yes, I do have cure light wounds. That's true. You do have cure light wounds. That's right. That's just a quick action spell because this yeah. is Pugmire again, Pugmire. not the real world. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, speak a blessing of man and heal away. Um, it's normally D six, right? Uh, yeah. Hit points. Oh wait, I have. Anthony's <laughs> hurt the most, right? Mm-hmm. Is Jackie or is? Uh, I think Anthony is hurt more. I got three. Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, friend took. Were, oh, friend, friend oh, didn't take any damage. Yeah. Three things. You got three things. I got three things over here. Three things. Right. Well, I'm gonna probably Save call it still dog. a D three, and that's gonna yeah, d- be how much, um, uh, how much lethal it takes. A D three. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, three. Yeah. Six. I rolled a six. 
Oh, you're on the six, so yeah. three. Great. Yeah. Then uh, you are fully healed oh. in the name of man. Great job. Really Excellent. Men bless you. Men bless you. Uh, there, um, there is a moment in which the three big dogs. Then, as you are attempting to manhandle this bookshelf into place, Ignatius heals um, Antony, and uh, uh, you. Words suddenly escaped me. Jackie, mm -hmm. as you continue to scatter through the parts of the floor, yeah. looking everything you can, looking for that knock, you hear it again. As you get closer to one of the uh, panels that is, um, or I'm sorry, one of the attic rooms that's underneath a staircase. Okay. And you open that up and you open that door open and you can hear it and you can see several boxes that seem to be lifting ever so slightly um, as there appears to be something trying to lift it up. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna lift it up. And I'm gonna, Pinkerton? So, so you pink, you pull uh, all of the, the boxes out of the way and you flip the thing up as you can uh, see a mouse poke its head up. Yes. And you go, Pinkerton. Pinkman, no. Pinkman. Pinkman. Uh, no, no, that's not me, but get in here. You know, you don't know what you're in right now. You're literally in the worst building you could possibly be in here. Oh, God. Why? Why? Because oh, this, this right place is, is like security protocol number one from Yale Ghoul, and you just busted in. Get your ass in here. Yeah, well, we took care of the security. Not all of it. <laughs> <laughs> As you hear, yeah, you did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to give you five seconds before I shut this thing and go back out. Oh, oh, guys, guys, guys. Let's go. Yeah, this way, this We're way. We're all moving. We're all moving, yeah. Um, the before, uh, before we, we, we go really quickly, I, I press I press the cat into, yes. the, into the floor wires, and I hear the splintering, the cracking of the wood as uh -huh. it rises under the shield. And, and I, I ask, why? Why did you hurt my friend? Why are you after us? What is this place? Oh, this is actually, um, you did find a couple of papers, which <laughs> I can absolutely describe to you Who's either right? afterwards or before this or whenever you want. Do we, we have to pass her? Go. We have to pass her to get to where she is? To do, to She's play. upstairs. Do we She's have to, so essentially from the yeah, bottom floor up go. to the top. She's floor. on the banister though, right? And you, uh, just um, go, go. I was and you, say, uh, you, uh, you, uh, you watch as the cat looking at you, um, it starts to grind its teeth a little bit. Gross. And it uh -oh. looks at you. So, I grab, I tried to grab its mouth. <laughs> Do we have to pass friend to get up the stairs? No. Okay. Um, you have to go actually underneath where friend is in oh. order to get into the room underneath the stairs. Dispatch that cat. Let's go. Uh, it grinds its teeth as you attempt to grab its mouth, but it's too late. You already heard the oh. snap of a tooth as you watch to see its foam start to clear inside yeah. of its mouth as or you watch its yourself. eyes roll into the back of its head and go still. Is there is there a is there another corpse we can grab on the way? Sure. All right, I'll throw a corpse over my shoulder. I mean, he got some information. Might be some more information available. <laughs> <laughs> so you you grab a cat assassin and fling it over your your muddy shoulders as you all hop into the uh, the bottom and um uh, probably don't as you lift cat with us as you lift uh, your shield up. I'm assuming I don't want to, to bring that cat with us. Yeah, as as I'm as friend withdraws her shield and okay. um, everybody else is running towards towards the exit, uh, she cries. And she says, I'm sorry, I'll fix everything. I'll bring you back. I'll promise I'll bring you back the way you were before. As you're saying this to the corpse, you actually watch as it starts to bubble. It starts to actually gas. You watch as gas starts to lift up from it as it seems to be essentially dissolving. And all you see for a brief moment is a pile of um, cat bones. Gross. That just as you oh, take God. your first step, they just dissipate. Okay, good. Into I was afraid of a cat's going. Just nothingness. Wow, so weird. just wind. So and um, if I may be so bold. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. yeah, about to die. You're gonna take three lethal damage. Oh. Wow. As you breathe in the fumes of the disheveled oh. cat. It's trying to take you with it. You mm -hmm. Take in a deep husk and you can feel your lungs burning mm. as you inhale, as you basically inhale sharp glass as you, um, well, as I'm assuming you're running back upstairs to find everybody. And you <coughs> cough a bit as you get close and realize you have some blood on your hand. Oh. So, um, That's nasty shit, that. So you all hop in, oh, yeah. pop the latch down, yep. and shut the door, 
just as the latch is being pulled down, you hear the bookshelves fall down as you can hear the sound of footsteps running all along the months of the bookshelves. And you hear your guide, who was in front of you beforehand, shout, Quickly! Quickly! We'll have to abandon this place, but they're going to be... They'll find it soon enough. Oh, yes, they will. They'll find it. That's very cute. Um, <laughs> you, you travel about 30 feet, 40 feet or so, as he, uh, you see the mouse stop um, in the midst of this uh, uh, single file cavern that is clearly cut into the underground of Pugmire. Um, and he essentially puts himself up against the wall as he moves all of you aside. Go, go, just pass me quickly, 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 fight! And uh, as each one of you passes single file, he looks to the right and you watch him reach his hand into a spur of rock and you hear a loud Uh Uh click as you watch rock just block that space right beside you. Looks like they won't be following us. (laughs) That is the point. I was hoping to not use this, but... Well, you had to go barging into priority level zero, which is the worst place Meowku will ever want anyone to be. So good job. Let's go. Um, uh, who are you anyway? And what in the hell are you doing at Pugmire? It's a great adventure, isn't it? You wouldn't believe us if we told you, Mouse. We well, come from the computer. Say... You're a simulation. None of your world matters. But we're going to reset it and make it better. We're friends of Jesse Pinkman. We're associates of Jesse. Yeah. We're looking for him. That I get. You need to get your friend checked out. Yeah. Um, Just out of curiosity, what does she look like to you? She looks like a dog. Just like any other dog. And a pretty boring looking dog, too. But... What? Classic Mrs. Blendin over here. So, uh, at this moment, actually, friend, as you kind of rattle this stuff out, uh, you um, <coughs> ever so briefly watch uh, as the Pinkerton, or not Pinkerton, but the mouse that you're currently in front of, uh, you you have this moment where you can actually see its source code as you blink into and out of it, mm-hmm. and you actually watch as you see cycles of it being selected and deleted and you look at it and for a brief moment (laughs) barely barely it actually blinks out of existence for about two or three seconds as he says that that part i understand and then he goes out of existence for like one two (gasps) three four (gasps) five and then bloop he comes back in real quick and just begins as if nothing ever happened did we all notice that and all of you see this at the same wow. time. And the, he's the only one who doesn't know anything ever happened. Perhaps you should have more care with what you tell these simulators. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> as it sad. continues to continue to clatter and move into it. And you suddenly recall there is a protocol of being self-aware that's inside of all um, generic NPCs that are set inside of this simulation. And you've just realized now, more importantly, this is how Thanatos first started tracking you guys all in the first place. Mm. Is that if anyone ever messed with the self aware protocol of the source code that is part of these NPCs, it essentially put a red flag in the code to be immediately deleted. All right? So now, more than ever, Thanatos knows exactly where you are. Damn it. And he knows precisely, exactly in which world you're at and where. Because you essentially made a giant red highlight in the source code that then Thanatos' subsystems had to select and then delete. Do we all remember that as well? Do we all know that? Nope, just her, because she's tied into the system. Right. How do you know Jesse Pinkman? Uh, He's the boss. He's the boss of the great underground Pugmire resistance. We need to talk to him. Uh, okay, um, that might be a little hard. He's out on a run right now, but I can at least take you to where he might be. That'd be great. Yes. Um, yes. Okay, yes. first, before I do anything, now, the only reason I saved you back there is because clearly the castle guard was after you, mm-hmm. and any any enemy of the castle guard is definitely a potential friend of the underground resistance. But why should I let you into our secret base? And especially to see the boss. We're here to take down Yao Ghul in the fastest way we know how. <laughs> how are six dogs going to take out Yao Ghul? We have abilities that might surprise you. 
All right, well, go ahead then. Show me. He sits there and taps. I'm very interested in this experiment. Uh, I we're not blink, dancing I, puppies. Yeah, I not blink yet. and I look at his code. Uh -huh. I look into his history. Uh -huh. Something, his price. darkest secret, uh -huh. his most embarrassing memory. No, that's not how this works. No. I just light him on You're fire. You're not powerful enough for this. Where yeah. is the, where is the, where, wait, 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 no, no, no. Yeah. Where is the cube? Where's the, where's the, where's the, oh, divot? oh I can be holding the cube. Well, yeah. um, I think, I think uh, Hope had it last, but the cube is, the cube is always with you. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, right. Jade, and, and as soon as Jade is back, I definitely gave it to her. Okay. Okay. be with you. It's like, a, it's like a trapezoid. Is there, now, any, right? is there, is there anything we can pick up? It's, like, it's about basketball size at this stage. Yeah. By the way. It was, it but it's not a cube yeah. anymore, right? It can like be a... whatever shape oh. you want it to be. Is there anything to pick up? Is there anything lying around in the rocks? What's your name? Um, who wants to know? I'm gonna pick up a rock. Yeah. I'm gonna pull out the cube. Uh -huh. First of all, I'll say, mm -hmm. do you see this object? Yes, it's a rock. No, no, pick the cube. The cube's in one hand. Uh, yes, that I don't know what that is. I've never seen it. Pick up like a cube for. Uh, I mean, that, pick, that, I mean I, pick a rock. Yeah, rock. Okay, that's a rock. Mm -hmm. You're talking about the rock, right? And that thing. I don't know what that is. Drop the rock in the cube. The open face side. Ooh, is it in there? Show him that it's empty. Oh my. This you watch as he gets out a pair of spectacles and puts it down onto the bottom of his nose and takes out a small pad of paper mm -hmm. as he starts getting all up inside of it and starts to I'm write saying, down this notes. This is but a fraction of our, I'm going to hand, hand it back to Jade, this is but a fraction mm -hmm. of our power. Hmm, did it, was, was there what, a temporal field in there or is there some kind of cross Will you reveal platform? all of your secrets to us? Cross oh, mm -hmm. Good point. Perhaps um, we should meet the boss. No, okay. And you don't want to use this against me, Al Ghul? Of course. That and other things that we all yeah, yeah, emulate. Yeah, it does not match your surrounding. Oh, well, well, you know, us mice, <laughs> we're the most superior species when it comes to intellect. I'm surprised a dog hasn't heard about anything like temporal anomalies or anything like that. Anyway, this way. Um, as you all begin to walk through I mean, the single space. And I, they, as we follow him, I, I have everybody hang, hang back a little bit, and, and I tell everybody... I'm, I'm sorry, I I was hoping that perhaps revealing the true nature of the world to some of these people might make them as me. You know, I, I became different, but it seems that Thanatos knows now. He knows, knows where we knows are. Oh, jeez. Oh, every, time, every time that... Wait, what did you do? That's why he blinked out. He did. He did because he became self-aware for just a moment, and that moment was enough to flag his code and now Thanatos knows where we are. Okay. We can't reveal any more of it. Okay. This is gonna be hard. We without, gotta, we gotta keep moving. Keep urgency moving. of our mission. Well, so, it's good to know. At least we know that now. It's a lesson learned. As you get, as you uh, attempt to travel. Um, What's his name? He still wouldn't tell us his name. Oh, uh, my name. Hmm. Well. Yeah. Give me a second. Cool. Um. I can't wait. Be good, oh, it's gonna be like it's gonna be so forever. good, man! Damn it, we don't have this kind of time. Keep looking. <laughs> this game, we're gonna go. uh, it's Steve, isn't it? Uh, I agree. We have how many worlds to get through? So many worlds. Um, seventy. Oh, jeez. Uh, seventy. Aaron. It's Aaron. 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 Yeah, mm -hmm. Aaron Paul. Okay. Anyway. Thanks for your help, Aaron. Let's go see the boss man. That's funny. That's great. Sorry. <laughs> I have to keep it consistent. Uh, yeah, Jesse Pinkman. All the mice. Aaron Paul, you know Jesse Pinkman? All right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, like I said, he's the boss. Um, so, uh, uh, so as you guys go through, you continue to travel through the, um, the single file line tunnel that's going through, and you start to see that other tunnels are beginning to connect with it. And there seems to be very quickly a... Um, uh, very clear that these passageways are cut together. These are the old ant tunnels that the badgers used in order to invade Pugmire back in the day. But now uh, we've managed to repurpose them for our own uses after closing off a couple key choke points. Um, and you can see that definitely these single file ones are definitely big enough clearer than an ant could 100% tunnel through and pull things out. And as you get into uh, uh, get deeper into the undercity of Pugmire, it suddenly opens up into a large um, underground chamber in which you can see 
uh, various mice all running around with their various wedges and pulleys as like uh, large ropes are lifting and dropping um, uh, different sets of supplies on different um, tunnels as it essentially is, seems to be an interchange network um, of uh, supply reinforcements in this area. This is the main trading hub for the entire underground resistance. Um, Pinkman is probably either in the command center or is currently up top doing some liaisons with some of the greater dog houses. Uh, well, one second. You six stay here and I'll go see if I can find out where he is. Don't go anywhere and don't touch anything. Thank you, Mr. Paul. Um, you watch it. I'm going to, I mean, do we trust him? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We don't have time not to trust him. <laughs> <laughs> you watch as Aaron goes uh, off into um, the midst of the the greater uh, the greater trading hub as the six of you uh, sit there and wait. So what's the plan once we uh, see Pinkman? Do we just say like, "Hey, here's this cube. Get in it." If it's if it's friend, I, th- I feel like you would recognize him immediately if he is a part of you. Oh no. All right. And and if not, then we'll get him to take. Uh, then I guess we have to go to the, uh, that other city and, um, and and try to find Susie. But oh, man, oh, man. I think we just yeah. sit here and cross our fingers. Oh, man. Man. I'm pretty certain that uh, she saw her hands being mouse hands were on the right track. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. This will be it. This, this will, be, will it. be it. So um, My memory is some time goes by. Ironclad. Uh, oh, no. 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It's a while. It's starting to get you nervous. Like he might not come back. Oh, um, no. But then, out of nowhere, you actually see him run back to you in a full sprint and go, <gasps> Oh, God! Jesse! There's something wrong! Malcolm found it. him! They found him! Oh, God, I need your help! And he starts ringing a bell that he pulled out of nowhere. And Take us to in. him now! Mice! Mice! Everyone up in arms! You watch as all of the mice get together and start pulling, like, various items that they can. Some of them seem to be grabbing... I'm gonna uh, reload my car- crossbow. I never did that. <laughs> okay. uh, as various mice begin grabbing armament out of the wall, and you see they're putting on jerry-rigged armor, and you can... You watch as Aaron grabs um, uh, one of you, uh, 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 suit bone by the hand, and starts Great. pulling you out and goes, He's up top level! We've had a... We've been cycling through various houses all through this time, but... Oh, God! They must know exactly where he was. They set a trap! Um, as he starts pulling you through the Undercity, you watch as various mice uh, essentially are pulling together in this great call of arms, and you can actually start seeing dogs are starting to come out of the various woodworks as well, too. Some of them seem to be in uh, very artisan-style gear, like uh, robes of what may have been once royalty but have now been torn and tattered and, and ripped to shreds. They're clearly refugees who have found themselves underneath this, this great hole. And um, you uh, watch as various parts of uh, branches of this subsection kind of clip off and um, uh, lift themselves up into uh, service holes that link out into the city. And um, Aaron takes you to one of the trap doors similar to what took you into the bookstore, but as you lift it up, it's in a warehouse. That's on, and you can, the first thing you smell is you actually seem to be close to the seaside docks or seaside. Mm. The, the One of the 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 out the outgoing um, like lower levels that take you down to the lake of blood. Oh boy! And you can actually smell the coppery stain smell in Gross. your in your nostrils as you as you kind of come up and you can hear commotion everywhere. You can hear sounds of battle ringing out all across Pugmire. Uh oh. Um, Aaron grabs you and goes, "All right, um." Uh, the last report we had is, is that they pinned him down in one of our safe houses that's close to the docks. So, uh, uh, whatever special powers you may have that he looked into it, that was the time to do it because there's reports saying that Meowgul himself has actually come down from the plastic castle oh. and is turning all of our men against each other. Friend, find yourself. Where's the yes. safe house? Can you feel okay. any feelings? I look into the code. Yeah, it's, it's, there's that, that like, polar... Uh, compass? Like that dial, that compass that's internal view is definitely, the the pull is strong and there is a very distinct um, north-easternly direction that you could be going to that is, uh, it's where it's coming at. I, I feel it, it's northeast. We north have to get there before any more suffering occurs. 
Yeah. Or Meow Ghoul absorbs the part of friend that's in there Agreed. and thus completely ruining your mission. So. We go, we go, we go, we go. All right, you burst go, out go, through go. the door, yeah. and the first thing you see is cats and dogs running everywhere. Some are on fire. Some what? are literally uh, just diving into various parts of the alley as you see skeletons and mice and dogs fighting each other. And you can look down onto the side of the um, the break wall in which the the, the gate like the that's leading down into a uh, pass of um, steps leading down several stories into a set of docks and you can see there's a heated amount of battling between mice and uh, skeletons and dogs that are all at this main gate that your compass is pointing right through it's a petopolis Petapocalypse. Pet- mm-hmm. pet- ah! I had it. I like it. Petapocalypse. Petapocalypse. And as this Aaron rushes out and he pulls up a giant looking metal tube as he looks towards the group and he stares back at you and he puts his hands onto it oh, and Tony's looks looks towards all six of you and goes, the revolution has begun! And he flips it and clips the switch and yeah, you hear dude. smoke. Shoof! As a large missile <laughs> what? streaks out what? of nowhere an ancient weapon of man that has been held up for centuries, that has been what? tinkered and used Dude. for only such special yeah. occasions as this, as this missile comes through and doesn't hit exactly on its target, but it strikes onto the side of this gate wall as an explosion just topples the entire fighting group. Seems like pushing them all into the ground. Let's, Let's get through. All right, we make a break for it. Okay, the six of you bolt um, straight into uh, into through and down, and you look down to the bottom, and you can actually see a scenario extremely similar to what it was when you were all watching Anthony about to be well being destroyed by Meow Ghoul. You see a small half circle of mice and dogs. Um, one of the dogs being Dotty. Um, My sweet Dotty. As you look down and see this half moon of dogs protecting a pink mouse as Meow Ghoul with several cats behind it. And he's floating up the five feet above the ground with his minions in front of oh, him. No. Seem to be facing off oh, against I should like dogs. to greet him with a crossbow bolt. All right. <laughs> you shooting Meow Ghoul? Yeah. Okay. All right, dexterity and weaponry. What's everyone else doing? I run straight to the mouse. Okay. If you want to run straight to the mouse... I'm going to give her cover. Okay. It, so you are you have to be going down several flights of stairs. Yeah. For the record. Back and forth, back and forth. Can yeah. Okay. jump? Is there a can shortcut? I, Is there anything you can do? You could 100% there, jump, but you would be pummeling two to three stories. Can I, can I do it and do a three-point landing by manipulating... Use your shoe. Code. Yeah, if you want to manipulate Landing reality. Wow. I think it's By the way, reality. for I the like record, to use remember, remember anyone react? who's manipulating reality to get special powers up to this point still has them. You still have x-ray vision. You oh, still and have... I still fly. Fly. You still, I, still fly. You I can still, still fly. I'm still the mayor. Wait, I'm in Los Angeles. I can fly. So... Shit just got real. It's just you don't... You don't you I'm don't have it unless you, you manifest it. Lost me the cue. Huh? You, you yes. have it, but it's just because you you don't want to because that is different than what is in this world. Right. And it can't really exist. So I in can this use code. it again if I want it. Essentially, just means that your hand is is stronger. It won't look like a fucking you know juggernaut, juggernaut fist. fist, but you essentially can punch through walls oh. at this stage. I wish I'd known that earlier. I <laughs> well, that. I guess I'm discovering it now. Reminding you again. As that reality nice is DM bonus. Yeah, currently mutable. bending. Mm-hmm. All right, so I, I grab, so... Yeah, I'm tossing she, friend the cube. So I mm. grab the cube as I run past her. As yeah. I leap of faith, yeah. jump off yeah. in. Assassin's and, Creed style? Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. I'm I flying. also do. I, I manifest <laughs> the shield, yeah. and I hop onto it like Legolas in the two, in the two <laughs> towers. <laughs> and I attempt to surf straight down. Oh. She's going to the mouse. I'm attempting to dive straight on Meow Ghoul, short sword out. All right, short sword um, out. I'd like to use a, a Benny, and then also what, what do you need me to roll? So for this, this would be a dexterity in athletics, for sure. And Minus I'll use a Benny. For manipulating reality. Mm-hmm. Minus how many? Oh, also manipulating reality. Well, no, she's not. She's just using the shield. 
She has oh, changed. Like, can she's I go? Yeah. Reality, hey, don't make so. things more difficult than they want to be. Huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she hasn't changed the rules yet. Okay. Mm. By tapping into the matrix. Yeah. Um, so. and so so just that. So just and dexterity I, and athletics. Can plus I use your one. one? How many bennies do we have? You have five left. Use a benny. I use a benny. Have we gotten any Benny. subscriptions? Uh, we don't count them until after the show's done. Oh, now. that's right. Oh, well, that's, did we get oh, any from cool. last we week? That that's like why you have ten this week. Yeah. Can you change the rules on the fly, eh? Oh man, oh man. Well, we don't have the sub uh -oh. noises to be able to get into it. So, um, and it's easier than having to recount it every single time we go into it when you guys want them the most. So. Yeah. Just one. One's all you need. Okay. One is all you One is all you need. <laughs> uh, so you're sliding down with the shield. You've assassin Creed off the top with your short sword. What are the other four of you doing? I, I shot a crossbow bolt. You shot a crossbow bolt. That's anything. right. Uh, I'm going to run good down. Try, good try. Good Sword drawn to just try to get closer to the action to potentially give friend cover good. as she heads to Jesse. My mace is out Perfect. Following. And I'm going to I'm going to shoot, I'm gonna shoot right. from the top to to hopefully provide more cover. bow coverage. Yeah, I don't know what I'd be shooting at exactly. You shoot at Meow Ghoul or it's Cat Cadre. Uh, I'll do I'll do Meow Ghoul. Okay, great. Distract that. Meow Ghoul going down, 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 down. Okay. Oh, thank God. Okay, one success. All right, so one success. So you fire both crossbow bolt and arrow. Shunk, shunk, fire into the fray, and you watch as they arc, because you're shooting down two stories. Yeah. You watch as it arcs kind of down, and you barely see them hit their mark. As you watch as Miao Ghoul just looks up. Yes. Um, uh, as <laughs> Jackie is flying down Whee! into a into a pose um, for your sneak attack, essentially, yeah. uh, you would be doing. Well, it's not even so much a sneak attack anymore because he's looking up towards you. So this is just a regular. What attack. I would love to do, yeah. is be coming down mm -hmm. like swan dive it in the air yeah. with the sword so that I'm coming down like sword into him. I don't want to like come down and land and right. strike a pose. I but you want to like, land straight into up. Him, which is great. So I will give you a bonus die. Okay. But then it's still going to be uh, strength plus weaponry. No dexterity? Well, this isn't really a... You're floating down. That's the ability. Oh, okay. You can fly. That's already kind of a okay. thing. Okay. Um, and you have four minutes if you but want to But to figure use. out where to land oh, yeah. it. What's that? <laughs> to figure out where to land yeah, it. Yeah, well, it's still using your fly ability. You have to, you have to put okay. enough energy into plunging this sword into him, which is where this comes into play. Okay. You so know? you said strength plus weaponry? Weaponry. He got one. He got one? Yeah. You have four bennies. Not negative one. Just one. Just one. one. All right. Use bennies. Use Benny? Mm -hmm. Use four bennies. Oh yeah, use them. All four? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's now or never, man. Okay, all four. Four. It's also five thirty. <laughs> okay, here we go. Like she said, it's now or never. <laughs> it's now or never. Uh, one success. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you for those bennies. Yeah, thank you for those bennies. Great. So as the two arrows fly down with Jackie coming in between, they all kind of meet together. As Meow Ghoul looks up just in enough time to watch Jackie plunge her sword sword straight into the middle of Meow Ghoul, plunging it off yeah. to the side as you are making headway down and the, the two of you, Ignatius and Anthony, are just running down as quick as you possibly can. And you, uh, you as... Are you gonna say anything as you as you jump into him to to address the, the, the elite guard of Pinkerton? Uh Dogs rule, cats drool! Yeah. Dogs rule, cats drool! Yeah. Okay, it's good. Dogs rule! And you hear them all yell ah, as they all charge <laughs> towards uh, Meow Ghoul, who, taking the exposed part of the short sword that he's holding onto it, waves with a single bit of his hand, and you watch as a psychic force just oh. in front uh, of the group in front. Um, oh walking, knocking one of them out and into the sea of blood. Whoa. As the, as the other five essentially just absorb the blast whoom, as much as they can. And you watch Miel Ghoul take the sword as he looks on to you and goes, Jackie! As he pulls the sword, holding you aloft out 
of the short sword and dangles you with the blade holding on to you right alongside and drops it. How, how tall is Meow Ma- Ghoul? What? How tall is Meow Ghoul? Well, since he's floating he's five feet him. above the air, mm. he's a well, five feet. Uh, since he's floating about a foot off of the air, he's about seven feet tall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's a tall. Mm. He is a tall cat and he is floating. Cool. Okay. So. Mm. Cool. Oh, so glad of you all to show up. I was worried you wouldn't show. As he looks up and goes, ah. I see you've brought your friend. <sighs> well, no matter. Um, are you two taking uh, more shots? Or you're or almost down. You're uh, you're about halfway down. You two are about quarter of the way down. Yes. I so, raise uh-huh. my holy symbol and yes. cast guiding bolt. <laughs> All right. Get it. Nice. Strike me out, I have no idea what it does, but it's, I Get saw it. it on my character sheet. <laughs> I believe Guiding Bolt was actually like a, it was like a 66 attack. It was nice. pretty yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty rad. Which in that Three circumstances, I'm just going to roll six I'm dice against him to okay. see how much damage you do. Am I like rolling for successes or adding it all yeah, up? Yeah, rolling because we're just converting it over to World of Darkness a little right. bit. You're essentially looking for successes, and each one of those will count as a lethal striking again, or an aggravated in this circumstance since it's holy energy. And how much? And do we have we have one Benny left? You have no Bennies left. Right uh, no, yeah, I'm she used that. them all up. Just do it, baby. Do it. None. Zero successes. No. Are you for your life well, the guiding bolt is supposed to do sixty-six damage. Okay, oh so you would say it does. Because the other Six. option, the other option I'll give you just to interpret this on the fly, yeah. a little bit, is is that I can just guarantee six damage to him, but it'll be lethal damage, won't be aggravated damage. Okay. You know, six lethal damage, which to the undead is well, not as bad. So isn't wouldn't with aggravated damage is worse. Aggravated damage is worse. Okay, got it's it. Permanent damage, but in this circumstances, I can just do six lethal damage to him. Okay. Which you will still strike something. him with a guiding bolt. So as you yeah, raise your holy symbol, <laughs> you cast Guiding Bolt, cool. and you watch as white energy, shoom, 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 six rays nice. fly down an arc as they thunk, 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 right inside of Meow Ghoul. As you actually watch him, like, actually react a little bit as he takes each one of the bolt hits mm. and <laughs> looks back at you again, Jackie. Mm-hmm. And bring it, big guy. Out of right. uh, oh, let's see. One, one, two, three, four, five. Five, five successes? No. Yeah. Uh, Whoa, Jackie. What? Whoa, what? As he looks towards you, you you watch as green boiling energy kind of comes up inside of him as he looks towards you and out of his hands you can see a green ball of necrotic energy oh rise up into a big sphere necrotic? in his hand. Is this, is this is this a new round or is this the... Uh... This is his round. Okay. So and then you guys get to go. But this is his reaction oh, as this? he... <laughs> yeah, it just looks like a rotating people with people getting up. Uh, Everybody's got to pee today. I know, mm-hmm. seriously. As this necrotic energy is lifted up, <laughs> you watch as he flings this ball right towards you, striking you in the center, doing five lethal damage. What? Yes. Okay, so what happens when you're totally full of lethal damage? So what happens when you're totally full of lethal damage, you start boxing in aggravated damage, which is the asterisk, not the X. It's the asterisk. You go over each box again with an asterisk. Okay. So how many asterisks did you have to mark? Uh, not, I have all lethal, but no. Um, And then how many hit points do you have total? Seven. Seven, okay. So you essentially have... Seven Everything's nine. minus one dice now, for the record. Okay. But um, essentially, if you fill that up, that's it. Okay. So, um, as far as stuff goes. So you're down there, but you feel this necrotic energy <laughs> into you as you can feel parts of your body dying. That's awful. Yeah. As you <coughs> cough and look back up to Meow Ghoul, who 
if there was lips to smile, he would be smiling. But even his skull-like grin seems to be radiating with a certain amount of pleasure from watching you writhe in pain on the floor. I feel nothing! All right, now we get to go again. And as the, the, the dogs are now engaging the cat cadre, leaving Jackie and Meow Ghoul facing off one-on-one. So, you fired Guiding Bolt last round? I did. Now, Could I reach Jackie to heal her? It's No, you're only about a quarter of the way down. It's going to take you another one, two, three rounds. So if you do a full movement, which is going to be your turn this round, you'll be halfway down. Friend went halfway down, and now after this round, you will be down. I've got down. one, um, the, uh, gosh, I wish I knew how to pronounce this, the thaumat- thaumaturgy. Uh, uh, thaumaturgy. Yeah, thaumaturgy. 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 I can't, well, that, could, it, could that it's reach way him? too far away. Okay, yeah. well, then I start running again. Run! Double the time! The dog that I am. Right. Same. Still, uh, Anthony's still running. Did he reach friend or, because remember, friend, uh, excuse me, friend jumped so Anthony's still running down. Well, uh, yeah, friend is sliding down her uh, <coughs> yeah. her shield. So, no, you're behind her at the moment running because she's going faster than you. Okay. So, I'm still doing that. It's going to take about three rounds. That's Just fine. like Ignatius to get there. So. Well, shit. Yeah, it's a rough, it's a rough ride down is what's going on. Okay. It's two I, stories. I still haven't uh, come You two yet. have been firing from a distance. Oh. So, mm-hmm. yes. I'll, sh- I'll I'm still one. doing yeah. that. Oh, are we, the, are we the next round? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Do I want to fire? Or do I want to do something? Else? He's still f- too far away to. You're, you can run down with the rest of the dogs, or you can keep supporting them from up high. Two successes at Mal- right. you, at Meow Ghoul. All right. You watches. Well, go ahead. Let's see. I'll support them high as well. You can also start to hear the sounds of battling starting to escalate behind you again after the brief lull of um, of the explosion. That was beforehand. I'm gonna hold my fire and keep an eye on anything that might interrupt friend getting to. Okay, yeah, because behind you, that you can definitely see the battling is starting to escalate. Is it again. coming towards me at all, or just? Uh, no, you can just okay. hear the sound. But as you turn around, you can definitely see that mice and dogs are starting to fight again. They're everyone's trying to push towards your position at the moment because that's where Meow Ghoul and that's where Pinkerton is. So you can okay. see that the mice have rushed and they are essentially trying to form a rear guard okay. at this place. But they're barely holding it. It's a mash at this point. It's not even. A, it's not even a. It's not even a hold at this point. I'll start moving towards okay. <laughs> the situation. I'm moving away from the battle, but I'm keeping an eye on friend. Make sure. So, she's Supo, and you let la, you let fly, as you watch as another arrow comes in, and you watch it go right through Meow Ghoul as it strikes him and just zoom right through as he continues to just move towards Jackie. Uh, with malicious intent inside of his eyes. Shoot bone. We we you know you might want to try to manipulate a little bit. We do have we're right in front of him. Well, last time I manipulated, I became the mayor of Los Angeles. <laughs> 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 I might I might need to enhance your arrows somehow. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. enhance something better. Um, uh, well, you did all let fly. So think about it for the next round. Yep. Because you yeah, did let yeah. fly um, at that means. point. Loose. And friends halfway down. You two. Are uh, uh, well, you've been halfway down, friend, and you're two are now halfway down. You are almost down. Mm-hmm. If I think of a clever way for Mayor of Los Angeles to translate into other worlds, maybe not Pugmire, but it, in other worlds, if you can think about it. But right now, just essentially in that world, it made you an authority figure. Yeah. Uh, being an authority figure in Pugmire is not helping you right, right now. Right, right, right. Jackie, what's up? Oh man, I get to go. Yeah, well, you're the only one closest I'm enough to engage in combat there. right now. Uh, what's Pinkman doing right now? Pinkman seems very, very hard you to be run. holding his you ground and is looking run. to pretty much. He's looking for an avenue of escape. He can't seem to find it. He knows he's stuck. And actually, at some point, you actually looked like he had what appeared to be a small silver looking rod and you know it as some kind of like gun of some sort. Okay. It doesn't look like the modern gun that you would expect in the world of darkness but you definitely see it being a weapon that he's holding to his head. To his head? To his own head, yes. Oh. Oh man. Um, okay. Is there is there any way I could see that somehow I could physically make an escape route for him to get to friend faster? You would have to go through the dog line. Uh-huh. 
then you have you have to go through the dog line fighting with the cats, grab Pinkman, and then try to push through back that line and get past Meow Ghoul because you're on the docks. He's essentially his back is against the dock. All right. Well, I feel like one on one, just me and Meow Ghoul, before anyone else gets down here, is a bad idea because I'm totally going to eat it. He's way more powerful than me. So, if if what we're, our goal is is to get Pinkman in the cube and then we go on and do this in another world, then mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, hopefully surprise everybody by running at Pinkman, picking him up, great, and just barreling through to get to Frank yeah. as fast as I can. All right, uh, uh, dexterity and athletics. Uh, nice. Let's make that happen. Nice. Let's see if you can bull rush through this. Go for it. Uh, one success. All right, so you watch as this tiny Jack Russell Terrier essentially starts, breaks away from Meow Ghoul, who looks up as you run off, and you essentially slide in between the legs of one of the bigger dogs, yeah. as well as the cats that are engaging with them as they are up in arms, clashing Conjure as you can hear stuff. metal ringing through the entire dock at the moment. As you slide right on through, you grab Dr. Pinkman, by his tiny little mouse hand as he looks towards you and goes, Jackie? They told me you were dead! No, no, we got you, we got you! Oh, God! As he, as he <laughs> was pulled away. Oh, man! Um, as he's pulled away uh, and you barrel through it, do it again. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, do it one more time. Mm -hmm. uh, no successes! No successes. As you rush through you basically have to mangle yourself around but you watch as you're coming as you're basically running through towards Meow Ghoul you watch as a large sword shunk, comes down right in front of you as you see a very very big cat uh, that appears to be infused as you watch as his, as his eyes and his Almost like his fur seems to be a neon green. What All the right. holy hell! As he is, uh, <laughs> right? Um, <laughs> as as he is essentially looking up to you, and you can see his giant muscles as he backhands you with a huge amount of force, dealing two lethal damage to you. Okay. Did uh, you hit Pinkman too, or just her? Just her. Because she was running forward. Is so he's knocking me away from where I want to get Pinkman yeah, to. Yeah, he just knocked you basically as you. Flew off to the side as you skidded along the side of the dock. You feel for a moment um, no support on the back of you as you basically are dangling off the side of the dock. Oh man! You can fly. Is is there an opportunity in there to uh, you you watch throw Pinkman. Pinkman towards friend? Um, maybe if you got up on the dock. Uh, okay. But at this point, you also watch as Pinkman, who had previously had the gun pointed towards his head, turns and fires. <laughs> as you hear the crack of a gunshot um, move throughout the world of Pugmire, and you actually watch as small lightning bolts actually skip off the side of him no. as you watch as this giant cat <laughs> like uh, crackles into nothing as it like, as you watch as steam flies up the top of his neon green fur as he seems not to be dead, but certainly affected. What does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> now we have a new round. Friend, you were down at the base of the dock. Okay, I run towards Pinkman. How how close am I? Half he's this you'll get if if you have to get through Meow Ghoul, but you have to get through Meow Ghoul and get basically to that break line in order to get to Pinkman in time. So you can definitely okay. reach him this round. I do it. At the end of it, yeah. but you're gonna have to go through Meow Ghoul and you're gonna have to go through the crowd, which means both of them could thwart you along the way. I'm, I'm covering her, so if anything looks like it's actually going to, I will hold my fire until it looks like she might be in okay. actual danger. Absolutely. So, um, how about the rest of you? Can Still I reach him? Uh, near half, we well, are uh, at this point, both of you are halfway down. You still have two more rounds before you get to the bottom of the dock, because she slid down the shield. So, right. that's why she got down there faster. Okay. You're still hoofing it, both of you. There is a good chance that this might all be done by the time you get down there. I mean, you could do Guiding Bolt again, and that was enough of a range to strike Meow Ghoul. Um, I don't know how many times you were able to cast it, though. I don't know either. Um, I know... Uh, I guess Unlimited. Let's just say Unlimited. I mean, I know I'm level 2. 
It's a level so, two one. I think it, it's a it's a it's a level one spell, but I am level two. I think you have a lot, and you had a bunch of level zeros, though, right? I did, and I did cast Cure Light Wounds once. Yeah, so I think you've used the spell slots for the level one at least. Mm. So you know, if you had a you have the cantrips, the level zeros, you could still cast those. I do have those, but I don't know if I, the fire one. The, you have to be closer for that, right? Um, what if I? Could I manipulate reality to give myself another guiding you, bolt? You can always manipulate reality. Okay. That's you always, can always. I mean, he's right here. There's no reason not to. Right. right. Fine. Let's do it. All right. So hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's a lot. Thirteen. <laughs> Too many. Oh my and God. I'm, and I'm throwing wait, what? Wait. I have. I'm removing dice based on this two. Three. Remove three dice. All right. Zero success. Zero success. You need new dice. So <laughs> as you as you look through it, you can actually feel the presence of Thanatos. So powerful because Meow Ghoul is right there. Who is Thanatos? You can feel Thanatos's presence it's like a firewall that's blocked you out every single time you time you try to push yourself into the place in order to manipulate it enough to make this world work as your advantage. He seems to be rerouting you, blocking you every single time you find a new pathway to come into it. So, fortunately, um, but you are still moving. Okay. So uh, yes, super. I, I want to manipulate reality. Okay. And since this is our reality, I want to give myself the power to infuse my weapon with the spinning wheel of death. The spinning wheel of death. Elaborate on that a little bit. Uh, the way computers work, because I know we're in a computer. Oh, the, the pinwheel. The pinwheel of death. Yeah. The pinwheel of death. I get it. So what you would like to do is you'd like to be able to infuse your arrows with enough uh, energy to essentially manipulate the code in order to either knock them out directly Free, or just it. freeze them. Freeze them. Now yeah. let's stand by. One, two, Whoa. three, four, five, oh That's six, cool. seven. Oh god. Minus seven dice. Well I only have six. Well roll then you one. have to roll one. Uh, and don't if fail. you because it's a catas if it, because it is a zero, if it is a catastrophic failure, as if you don't get this, it'll be considered a catastrophic Another failure. Another die for creativity. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um. What? It, but it's wits plus composure. It is wits plus composure. Yeah, it's just six. I don't know if I want to do it. I'm sorry. You Kay. do want to do it. You definitely want to do it. What are the chances of a like exactly catastrophic failure? Twenty percent yeah. or eighty percent chance. Okay, come on. No. Seven. Did you just whisper something? No. no What'd you get? Okay. So <coughs> catastrophic <coughs> failure. Hope, yeah. as you reach okay. in and you attempt to basically change the Should have done it when everyone else was getting cool. angle that was doing stuff, essentially you're attempting to manipulate the code of your attack angle when you're using weapons in this interface in order to be able to infuse a permanent bonus to your abilities. You go in there and realize that you've actually tripped something of a little bit of a, of a backlog, and you've actually been infused <laughs> with one of Thanatos's um, antiviral protection agencies. <laughs> oh. uh, Fuck! Essentially rendering all attacks that you do negative one dice. <gasps> no! Anytime you make an attack from this point forward. Forever verse? Forever verse. Forever verse! Wow. Until next Wednesday verse? <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Forever burst. Um, all right, it's Meow Ghoul's turn. Um, well, it's, wait, so you've declared that. You've, you're have you still running down Jackie's made her attempt for Pinkerton. Can I? You Can fired I into it. You are running through, so you need to make your dexterity plus. Um, I am looking assist. Your dexterity plus your uh, athletics to try to slop in there. I am uh, I am covering her. Right. If you want to shoot Meow Ghoul first, because she's got to run through Meow Ghoul first. Oh, she got to run through him? Yes. She probably fired him. Oh, you fire first. Okay. Well, Should it's I... all happening at the same time. Okay. So you got at least one. Yeah, I got one. One splitter. Two, uh, wait, two successes. Okay. Two successes, great. One success. Should have infused that damn bolt. Two. Okay. So, um... 
as you level your crossbow and you can start to hear the sound of battle behind you, you fire your crossbow, boom, heading straight down towards Meow Ghoul. At the same time, you actually feel a gash shoom, across the side of your back as you back arches ah, in pain and you look to see a cat with a short sword or not a cat a skeleton cat with a short sword who is st struck along the side of your back and it's hissing but not after you let your bolt fly and as the bolt comes down you can hear the as you're running right by Meow Ghoul who lifts his hand up in order to grab you straight off but at the last minute it strikes his hand right, moving right. it just barely off to the side in order to let you at least go underneath yeah. his arm, Woo! taking you essentially away from um, uh, uh, taking uh, taking you straight off to the side as he whips around as you're one right by him. Um, and he looks towards friend and he looks towards you and goes, no, not that one, not that one, not that one. As you can see, it's visibly getting angry. Where did you find her? And you watch as uh, uh, he lifts both of his hands up into the air, bringing a huge green glowing energy into both of his hands as you can start to feel gravity start to pulse around it. Whoop. Yeah, indeed. You're grabbing a lot of dice turns. Don't like that. <laughs> So um, as you watch as he lifts both of his hands up into the air, pulling some necrotic energy, his green flowing energy is pulling around him. You watch as the lake of blood begins to rise no. and roil and pull no. and roil as suddenly out of nowhere a giant torrential storm just comes into this world and it starts crashing and it's pulling and make a dexterity a plus athletics check. Oh my to god. Being Minus pulled. one though, because I. Damn it. Fly, you fool! I know, right? <laughs> oh my god. I got one success! Yes, one success. Thank fucking god. So as the <sighs> roiling right. water begins to pull up, you can feel for a moment your entire body enveloped by the lake of blood as the water boom, pulls you back down and you holding on <clears throat> barely with your hands. You, uh, you, you grab a hold of the board and you feel briefly as a small mouse hand grabs a hold of your, your wrist and begins pulling you up with all of its tiny little body, but uh, you are drenched at this point. Um, and he's, blood, so he's blood. so blood, so much blood. As so he, much blood. So much blood. As he is pulling on you, but he can't seem to get you up out from there yet. Uh, so. Is this a situation where I could fly right up onto the dock? You can fly? Yeah. All right. Thank you. I'd also like to make it look like he did it. I want <laughs> Pinkman to feel like... Ooh! Yeah. <gasps> Are you okay? Thanks to you. Okay. Uh, let's do this! We gotta get out of here. Did I take any damage with that skeleton slash? Oh yeah, you took two lethal. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to use uh, manifest my healing ability that I manifested previously. In oh yeah, you manifested yeah, the, yeah. this like Wolverine thing on mm -hmm. top of your SWAT stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you could cure. Uh, well, let's just make it simple for the purpose of this. You can make sure, to, uh, like werewolf rules, every round you can heal a lethal. Oh, so, cool. All right. Um, I just want Amy to do an attack. <laughs> I'm a potato now. You guys, you guys are lugging along a big sack of nothing. And that's me. You only have one, one mic. You still got no, five you're die good. left. You're fine. You're great. Yeah, you're good. You got it. You're I'm, good. I'm, I, I am only no, the I, narrator of the choice. I understand. Soup bowl potato sounds delicious. <laughs> uh, I that potato soup, soup bowl. Potato soup bones. Mm. Mm. Do I um, still have any movement, or is that my whole turn? You, uh, no, yeah, holding on for your fucking okay. dear life okay. was kind of a big thing. Okay. <laughs> um, but you are up now, at least. Uh, you essentially got through Meow Ghoul, um, but not, uh, at least through him as he started rising this torrent up. Um, but there is still, unfortunately, the battling um, line of undead cat minions and dogs. And you can actually see his... Dottie is continuing to battle this giant hulking beast as she goes, as she looks towards 
up to the uh, the top of of the stairs and goes, "Oh God, Anthony!" And she's briefly Aww. distracted as she's no, 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 no. to it. Um, as these are continuing to be. <laughs> I'm a no. <laughs> Nothing's happened yet. Oh, ye of little faith. Um, <laughs> no, I, I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Not Dottie. Not uh, right in front of Anthony. As they continue to, to come through. Um, it's another round. What is everyone? What is everyone owning at this point? I have to do whatever it takes to get to Pinkman. Okay. I'm also taking Pinkman and yeah. doing whatever it takes to get to yeah, Pinkman. Yeah, we, we fly if you have to. Making this happen. So that's fine. Uh, this round, both of you movement, you could both essentially bust we'll through her. Middle. At the very worst, you fly over her to be able to bring Pinkman right where he needs to be. But what about the other four at this I'm stage? manipulating reality again. My idea is too great to let it die. <laughs> I'm going go, to. Here we go. Uh, go, here we go. It's a fucking amazing God. idea. <laughs> I'm going to see Dottie and just go, I'm coming, and just continue to keep Aww. running down. Got it. All right. Yeah, I still have one more round to get to him, right? Yep. Yeah, one more round. Well, well, I have a skeleton to uh, deal with. Who's How about going you? Are you still firing, or are you facing off against this cat skeleton now? I'm going to deal with the cat skeleton. Yeah. I mean, it seems like these are. Choice. Well, you guys seem to be having everything in control. Might as well get this guy off my back. Three, four, five, oh boy. Oh boy. six. Negative six. Okay, so I just one again. Come on, baby. This is a Jody Hauser die that she gave me to play with on Bass. It's going to Jody. Don't go as Jody. Close. Close. Jody. Son of goat. Negative two die. Negative two. Keep trying. Yeah, Negative keep trying. two dice. I am going to keep trying. I'm not letting this idea die. This is an amazing idea. It's it's amazing. Not I want, Damien's got two cool things. I've got zero. I've got hey, one. Hey, you were the mayor of Los Angeles. Yeah, you're the mayor of Los Angeles. <laughs> You'll always have the mayor of Los Angeles. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Los Angeles. Um, and, 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 I mean, it transferred in the just regular yeah. armor here. I don't know why. So, uh, do I even have any super bonuses super for my armor? Real straight, well, well, at this point, what you're what you're doing is facing off, so I just want you to make a, a strength plus a brawl while I resolve what's going on between these two at the moment. Mm -hmm. All right? Yep. Jackie. Yeah. Bren, Jackie, you fly up over the top, and you can feel as a couple of cats are trying to pull you down. God damn it. From, oh, God. Um, oh, yeah. Like Man. No. Oh no! Okay, okay. One, two. Oh no! Three. <laughs> so three, three more. So as I you, but a tiny dog. <laughs> oh my god! You are a tiny dog. So Jackie, as you grab Pinkman with your arm, you attempt to lift up from the here, and you manage to get over it, but not before essentially taking a cat hand onto the bottom of your foot, oh, and they I slam swear. you down onto the bottom can of I, the docks. Can I throw Pinkman Well, it's fine because as happens. they slam you down on the other side of their yeah. brake line, yeah. you slam down, Pinkman spills out in right in front of friend. Okay, okay. great. You're taking okay. three le more lethal damage. Okay. All right. Three successes. Three successes. Mm -hmm. So you you essentially take your, take. what were you using, what weapon were you using? Uh, I was gonna go martial arts and I'm still holding my crossbow. Well, then just just paint this picture for me real quick. Okay, so I, I take the slash, glance yeah. back, see the uh, see the, the the cat skeleton, you know, fully extended pass with the with the blade mm -hmm. as he uh, swings around with all of his might. And uh, considering I still have my crossbow in my hand, in my hand, instead of actually dropping the crossbow or anything like that, I just lift my leg, cock it, and use it as a pivot to jump. And what's essentially what's uh, what's known as a tornado kick with the leg that's on the ground, the I whip it around and kick it into the side of the neck, kicking through it, and then landing, as I land, I'm going to recock my crossbow <laughs> and put a bolt in it and look what's going on. Bones fly everywhere. And take a few steps away from the battle. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Bones fly everywhere as they scatter across the side of things. And um, you sit down as friend, you're lined up with Pinkman okay. at the moment, and you watch as he stands, and for a moment, you they look at each other and they seem... He seemed to forget himself. He looks at you, and it's almost like something awakens inside of him as he puts his hand up to you. And as both your hand and his tiny little mouse paw connect, you start to see a white light between each of them as slowly his body 
pushes into yours as his body slowly absorbs into yours. And this essentially happens over the course of several long moments of which Meow Ghoul, looking at this in front, screams as loud as he possibly can. It is not Meow Ghoul's voice anymore. It is Thanatos and you can hear it and its bass is deafening inside of your bodies. No! As he looks towards you and he throws another necrotic bolt of energy right amongst all three of you. Can, oh, can I do can I do anything? I wanna I wanna jump in I wanna jump in front of it. Like I wanna block them. <gasps> okay. Um <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't have to roll for that. At one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. You got him, man. All right. You guys are the future. <laughs> future. Um. It doesn't have to be that strong. I've only got like two left. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, we can't. Damn it. We Damn need it. to get a friend in every world, and we've still yeah. got like know, six know, more worlds. It's, it's the right thing. Um, well, it's, it's seven successes is what it was. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. So, cool. Trish, as you, well, you, none of this, you see none of this, because all, you're fully absorbed in this, in this moment as things are being pulled into each other. But as this, as Thanatos raises his hands and he pulls both of them together and makes a giant globe of necrotic energy and throws it right towards you as you watch as this giant spiraling ball flies through the air. Uh-uh. Jackie just jumps right in front of both of them and you watch as a large necrotic ball of energy just absorbs into you. As it hits me, I want to say, go now, there are other worlds than these. Yeah. And as you say these words, <laughs> it's barely the last words come out as your body dissolves. <laughs> First skin, then muscle, then mm, bone, uh, then dust, then nothing. And damn it. your voice was there one minute, and then it was gone the next as nothing remains. And these two are still fully absorbed as you watch mm. as they bend into each other and slowly melt. So that's good. That's what and, needed to happen. Uh, there's nothing. There's white light. There's a purse of brightness. And for a moment. The world is nothing. You stand amidst the pile of wood and broken dock that is in front of you, but there is nothing. There is no Miogul. There is no dogs. There is no sound of battle. There is nothing around you. There is only the lake of blood and the sound of absolute quiet. And Jackie's gone. And Jackie's gone. And the five of you stand there as, friend, you look and realize that upon absorbing the part of the simulation that was Dr. Pinkman, that the setting is still here, but the simulation has ended. Essentially, in a hologram world, you just said, and simulation. And now you just have the hologram, holograph deck right in front of you. Oh. Where would you like to go next? Friend, can you see Jackie's, Jade's source code? Can you find her code anywhere? I can. Can we step into the, uh, into the median and see if we can find it there? In the, in the space between worlds. As you walk through the blackness just off screen from where you are, 
you walk through the blackness and you can sense and feel nothing. Thanatos has, for all intents and purposes, he has claimed another one of the users. How? We were there. The whole thing was, if we were together, he couldn't do it. That's just me expressing my discomfort with the situation. No. He is clearly getting stronger. And clearly those rules More valid. are starting to not cover it. They're not the same. If only, if only Amy could have attacked. Wow. Yeah, I know, man. Amy Hoss is on you. So now is dead. Uh, Hope couldn't attack. Uh, Jade is gone to join Winger. Jade is off to join the others who have fallen in this simulation. And there has been many of them, but Trish, thank you. Thank you! Oh, guys! Oh. Guys, freaking defeat Thanatos, all right? We only have Come seven on. more to do in, in as much time as it took to do we this We do one. have an extended episode next mm-hmm. week. Do it! I do would it. invite you back, Trish, but unfortunately this is where your story ends. Okay, that, I get it. I thought that w- I thought that might be the case when I dove in front of it, but it needed to happen yeah. to continue the story. But guys, don't... Don't let Jade have died in vain. We won't. She totally died in vain, sorry. No. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But my question still stands. Where are you going next? Well, let's go to the place where we've mostly all been. Have we all, where did we all, where were all of us? In 7th C? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or Erica? Erica wasn't in 7th C. She was in 7th C. Were we all animals? We were all pets of the witch? The witch is dead? Mm-hmm. You were there? You go yep, there? I was there for the witch's dead. You want to do that? Let's go to the witch's dead. Yeah. Okay, so the witch is dead. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that's what we'll be visiting next week as we have, have our <laughs> final <laughs> extended episode of the Foreververse. Uh, we will be going a little later if we need to, which <laughs> I am giving these guys as much possible time in sacks, and everyone else has already cleared that we can have an extended episode next week. Um, I want to give you as much time as I can. Yeah. And there is uh, Pug Myers down though. All right. How many more we got? Seven. It's, it's <laughs> a lot. It's not. It's not seven. But. I mean, Werewolf, Puppet Land, Werewolf, Puppet Land. Seven, seven C, which is the dead. Witch is dead. dead. Does Honey Heist count? No, Honey Heist doesn't count. Uh, honey Heist doesn't what, count. What, what about uh, Big Motherfucking Crab Truckers? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. That's five. Can I? Okay. Does the does what was the Mad Max world? Was that? That, that was the one off with Eric. Oh, yeah. So that one, the one offs. Let's the the one offs are not in a position. Okay, so, so four. So how many got four? We can do four. Right. Seven, <laughs> seven, seven C. Seven C. You said werewolf. Werewolf. Yeah, werewolf. Puppet Land. Puppet Land, Puppet Land, Land and, and Kill the Witch. The Witch is dead. So just set an alarm on your phones for every half hour. Right, we gotta, sure. we gotta keep moving. <laughs> um, guys, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next week for the epic conclusion of the Foreververse. <laughs> <laughs>Hey everybody, thanks for watching this episode of Foreververse. Make sure to like and comment and subscribe as we'll be releasing episodes on every Thursday on GNS's YouTube, starting with the first episode right here. If you'd like to jump ahead to the current point in our campaign, you can always watch us live on Twitch, Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you want to watch Foreververse episodes that are available right now, you can always go to projectalpha.com. They are all there for you. And if you want to watch episodes that we've already released on YouTube, there's this fun little playlist right here. Thanks. Goodbye. <laughs> yes.